getting food. And Yum. Semen. Piss and semen. Nice. Yeah. Well, it's time to <laughs> fucking on death of my gun. It's like, I, it's Where are we? Um, what the frick? Be alive. What the frick? The two things that you're guaranteed to find on a submarine. Um, piss and semen. Hey guys, welcome to Dungeon Select. Uh, we're here. <laughs> I get it. Tell me I'm wrong. <coughs> Welcome to Dungeon Dungeons. Hope Welcome you guys had a, had a great week. Dungeon uh, Select. I'm a little sniffly and stuff, and I'll be probably be sneezing a lot and, and doing the whole see me nose, uh, the sharp nose inhales, because I have this weird, like, my nose is just itchy 24-7 for the last few days, and I've been sneezing a lot, and it's fucking annoying. Um, mm -hmm. But we out here. I'm just ill. Spring is here. We know, Koiba. We Spring know. is sprung. We know that you have issues, and let's like I said, man. Definitely the chat, bro. No, I'm genuinely just sick. I'm a cold. <laughs> so I'm a little... Oh, okay, right, right, right. Sorry, we were talking about your alcoholism. Right, right. Got it. Got it. No, no, no. Okay, my bad. Sorry. Don't talk about that. Okay. <laughs> my bad. It's, my bad. Like, it's not real. Um, it's not real. Is the excuse yeah. for him to have a hot? Today's body session every night. should be a good one. Hope you guys all had a great week. As I said, uh, gang's all here. Hopefully, we're a bit more grounded and less chaotic this session. Than last. Wrong. That should don't, lower don't, for all of us is just me. I should be that. fine. Nothing changed, really. <laughs> wow, you're fine in this you mean... Yeah, you're fine for us. Hey. Wait, Laura, you mean this super emotional, like, heart-hitting, open to this session when not going to be me me? <laughs> That's why I signed up for at all. Oh, I, hate that word. I mean, so, Dagon's dead, so... As soon as, as, soon as Prezi leaves, does Laura just, like, I can, I can crank leave. myself. There we go. Boom. No, it's stream, right. bro. What? <laughs> Yeah. Not on Twitch, not on Twitch at least. Dude, I'm also live on Kick, guys. Relax. You can do anything. Hey, right? then that it's fine. You can do everything. Can do anything, man. That's true. My God. The wild west of streaming. They don't have a TOS, right? So I can't get banned. Lol. Let's watch porn together, guys. Let's get, let's do it. Um, I turn myself on. The weird, uh, the nice. weirdest Monday dungeon selects thing oh, we now do is that play divinity. <laughs> Oh, no. That's the replacement. Is, is okay. No. What's well, like? Okay, never mind. I'm not opening that. I'm not opening that avenue. We're not. Of conversation. We're not going to go there. We're not doing it. Um. Not let me know if my voice is good now, guys. I turned myself up in OBS a little bit. Hopefully that's better. Mm. Um. But yeah. Does anyone have anything that they want to announce before we get going with today's shesh? Why Obviously, it was it was birthday? it was Bell and Duke's birthday uh, this last week. Uh, so if you haven't or if you didn't. Congratulate them. You're how dare people, you? To be honest, a terrible person. <laughs> Lol, you guys are older. Lol, El And it's Joe, it's Laura's also. birthday this Tuesday. 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 So that's that's I'm my announcement. I'm doing a 12 hour yeah. birthday stream Let's on go. Tuesday, yeah. and there, it's gonna be just like all multiplayer games all day. Anyone who's around, just like hop into voice in my Discord. We'll see what games we have, and we're just gonna play shit so it'll be anywhere thing from like apex blood hunt valorant uh maybe among us if we get enough people Ooh, maybe mario kart or mario party if i hook my switch up who knows dude, that among but, us shit we did for uh charity select last uh thing was super fun and the new hide and seek mode that's official in the game now is oh, real fun too right, that's right, a thing right. so you can play with even little people uh and also i'm now gonna I get to look at the dice that Duke got me oh, for my birthday. Oh, yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Boxing. And, See, so here's the thing. I, I got a bit of a peek at them unintentionally because they came in this giant box, okay? They came in a box that was, like, this big. No word of a lie. Like, James was there. So I'm like, oh, there must be extra packaging inside or something because it's just, like, I know it's just a set of dice because we agreed to buy each other dice to fix our curse. Open the box for something this big and that's all that's in there, but they had a box, like, this fucking big to no, pack it in. And so I, I accidentally got a bit, so I quickly saw the colors. I was like, ah! I was like, James, put it away. James, put it somewhere. So I'm looking at it. Avert your eyes! So I knew they were like, there's blue on them, but that's about it. But now we're going to get our first look. And the first impression is it's very, like, pastel-y, cotton candy, Easter-y vibes. And it makes me happy. They're like a, a tealy color. They're like they're like a, a sky blue, a teal, and a pink. There's like a three. The teal's not showing up on camera, but there is like a teal extra color in the middle it looks like it's two-tone but it's three-tone i swear you can kind of see it like the a cotton candy bit. dice yeah like this one you can almost see Ooh. the green and the blue a bit it's really hard with my lighting and my mm. part of it's mm. the color lighting in my room is fucking with it because i think the purple's making the blue bro but anyways i'm very excited. i couldn't get you Dude. anything character inspired because you fucking died so yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I have skull and crossbow line. dice have exist key, so. no it's fine because I... it's, it's the character inspired it's the cat dice that killed me anyway so fuck oh, my character diagon doesn't get character dice anymore she's mm. not allowed she's banned anyway Man, <laughs> dying. 
So yeah, birthday stream on Tuesday and come play games. I'm sure a bunch of these people will hopefully, if they have time, show up and maybe we'll play some shit. Should be able but to if not, pop in. no worries. Not. A little bit here and there. What, I, I don't know, I've been playing a bunch I of games. You can put money on me not being. <laughs> yeah, because it's a weekday and you'd be busy. It's fair. Yeah. Uh, Bell just hates <laughs> us all, to be honest. I'm also going to have a, a dice-related goal for the stream, because I'm going to, for the first time ever, I'm going to have a, a tip goal up, but specifically to help me and James pay for the custom dice for our wedding favors. And if we hit the goal, I will give away uh, at least one. If we end up with extra, because people cancel, maybe more, but I'll give away at least one of our wedding favor dice. Two Ooh. people that help for the tip goal. So you could also get a chance to win a piece of our wedding, even though you don't get to go. That's so, so that's kind of cute. Cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, that's, gonna, that's my announcement. Win it I'm going to enter the raffle, win it, and then go there. And then get go and have one. it anyway and have two. And then raffle off the one you get from going there. <laughs> yeah. The genuine yes. wedding one and then the other one as a replica. Okay, I'll get one signed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> one signed. Get a both signed. What are you talking about? No, because one, one could be the one I use that's outside and one that's like, you know. One that's in the mid. display case. Yeah. See Does it go up or down in value if they get divorced? <laughs> uh, I feel like that's that's in the person buying it. It depends on <laughs> what side of the relationship they're more invested in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, we're playing D&D &D next week, right? With, with, Regardless of it being like Mother's Day and all that stuff in the UK? Yep. The only <laughs> hitch in the plan is how fucked over I get by train strikes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm. I don't have plans, so. Those are shocking. Oh, <laughs> Gen no, like yeah, genuinely, sure dude. I he, I feel like he was waiting for somebody to follow up with a joke, and I just refused. Mm. I didn't. I no, just, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I had a, cu got a cup because, in the barrel because uh, I got the of... choice of whether I wanted to work it or not. My lovely okay. boss was like, "Look, do you want to work it? It might be." And I'm like, "What's the choice? I either go to work and earn money, or sit at home being miserable." <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Work it, make but... it, do it. Makes us harder. <laughs> oh, all right, Daft. Punk. Other. Other random side note, just in case if people see me like for the first hour ish or so of Dungeon Select popping in and out, I have my headphones on, I can still hear, but we have currently the hot water heater is broken in my house and someone's here fixing it right now. So I may need to dip out periodically just to go like if they have questions or like to pay for it at the end or something. So just FYI. Draw hot water heater to break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. As far as announcements go, do I have something? I don't think I do. I don't, I don't think I have anything to announce, to be honest. Anyone else? I'll probably disappear in a little bit to get food, but other than that, no. All right. Uh, all right. In that case, what are you snacking on this week, Koiba? What am I snacking? I got, I got a couple of things this you week. Raisins. I mean, I do have a big old bag of raisins that does just live on my desk now, right? You it are just is there. 70 years old. My man must be shitting regular. Yeah. Uh... Not to mention jelly beans, so I got myself some jelly beans. I didn't say jelly beans, I said jelly babies. mentioned jelly babies. Oh, whoops, well, whatever. You made me think of jelly beans, so I got jelly beans because I made me think of them. And then I got the the best thing to snack on whilst you're playing. Uh, I got some beef jerky, baby. Did you know? Dude, beef, beef jerky, jerky slaps, bro. Oh, yeah. my God. There's, like, super, dedicated super, beef jerky stores in, like... Super mic-friendly, super, like, good for RP. Beef jerky. <laughs> Why is it good for I feel like he's trying to make on. us a bit because he's letting us down yeah. again and it's just not working. Yeah, and I'm letting you guys down again, but yeah. So beef jerky's fire. Well, how is this a letdown? Or is, is the letdown it's, it's that not it's not a not bit. I mean, I got, no, it's not a I bit. can compensate for Koiba. I got a whole bag this big full of UK specific snacks that aren't local Yo, in yeah, the UK store. You so get, I you have- You got jelly babies? I did. I did not, but I. So I did got. Ja I got jammy it. Dodgers and Jaffa cakes and lots of crisp flavors that don't exist in Canada. That also and Lauren's gonna eat that whole bag tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's UK no. store that we went to in Tilburg, but it was like a just a sports clothing outlet. But it was like it's your lucky day. Yeah, it's fifty yeah, percent yeah, yeah. off. <laughs> you bought that fucking hat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought two hats, yeah. Oh, shit. I got an orange one for King's Day and a pink one that I ended up giving to Yana. Oh, it's King's Day oh. soon. Pog. Yeah, fucking getting Yo, litty. King's Day? Yo, y'all coming, coming through for King's Day, boys? Uh, I no. fucking wish. Alright, got it. 
Yo, Soko, you coming over, dude? It's only, it's only a small. Uh, trip. you know, I was actually gonna surprise you, but thanks for ruining it. Oh shit! It's like <laughs> My bad, I ruined it. Uh, now I'm not gonna go. <clears throat> Look, right. we're already coming in August. What more do you want? I just said what I want, didn't I? It's kind of a crazy question. Who's August? <laughs> Can I go? Can I just leave? Oh my god. I hate myself, alright. <laughs> Not as much as we do, bro. Um, <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, let's play some fucking D&D, guys. Uh, last we left off, the party explored the upper level of the Serpent Fort, deep in Nessus, the ninth of the Nine Hells. Um, house of... Our uh, home to one of um, the avatars of Asmodeus, as well as a powerful wizard of some description that seemed to have turned himself into a lich. Um, all he really found was a note that described how a man named Banak was dead and Zolgan the Eternal now lives. And uh, you fought against him. Uh, he uh, put up a pretty, pretty good fight, but retreated in the end uh, and now you are all in his in the room where you fought him in there's a bunch of like desks and, and and vials and all that sort of stuff on shelves kind of around the room um you found that part of that uh device with uh, like a like a, a, a tablet with this three-pronged fork attached to it but that seemingly was a uh, there was still a missing part before you could make it uh functional um yeah, you're in this chamber. Uh, what do you guys do? We just fought the lich and he fucked off, right? And like, mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. You haven't looted or scared. anything. You just kind of... You're still there. Like, just... This is the aftermath of the fight still very much. Like, he disappeared. Is there another door in this room? Uh, no. The only door seems to be the one okay. that you entered from. I'm going to... Again, you'll see Prezi just take their... Their hand starts to glow. And as they, like, slowly run their hand over parts of their... Plated armor, um, you'll see some of the biggest cracks and the biggest wounds start to heal up, but I'm not healing it completely, and I'm using 10 hit points of lay on hands on myself. Yeah, how, how's everyone looking? Oh, I'm very Mark bloodied. I'm not great. I am barely Mark conscious. Die, yeah. I'm very bloodied. I'm so Marcus half. is also not looking too good. He's, um... Oh, um, af after I do the 10 on myself, I'll go use the remaining 10 on Marcus and also just go run like a glowing hand along wherever the most grievous wounds are. And again, he's um, not gonna by any means be up to full, give but... Give me a sec. So give Marcus 10 hit points. Um, boop, 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 boop. Marcus is also going to... He still has a third level spell slot left, so... um. How many of you are looking bloodied right now? I am almost bloodied. I'm, I'm going fine. To spit on Actually, the floor. I, okay. I, as I healed myself, I have just barely left the bloodied territory. I guess. Okay, so he's going to cast mass healing word, and he's just going to target. Uh, which one of you said they? The, which one of you doesn't like need it? Does he not have like mass cure wounds? No, I'm, Maybe like he's tapped. I don't need it. Uh, it's 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 okay, so he's going to uh, target himself and get everyone healing. besides Kess. And you all heal for... Any beacon of hopers? Hold on. Uh, for th I rolled max. So 13 hit points to all of you. Oh. Oh. Uh, I guess a plus 9 to, for his bonus. Who needs beacon of hope? Life domain. Uh, and he's also going to use his channel divinity to preserve life to just... Pump himself with 30 hit points because he fucking needs it. Oh. <clears throat> I, we approve. We stand. Yeah, because like he got uh, revivified and that's about it. So he was he was still very much on death's door. <laughs> so he's uh oh. he's back to full. He's he's looking pretty good. Um, let's see, this room was like a tinkering room, right? You're in kind of like a you're not necessarily a t in a tinkering room. You're just kind of in like a. More of like an alchemy mm. room. A lot of vials, a... potion ingredients, that sort of thing, kind of spread around in shelves and and, and desks and all Is there that. Anything that Has interests there, like... me? Uh, if you want to just have a look around and investigate some of the yeah. shelves and desks and stuff, you can make an investigation check. If anyone else wants to do and the same? I... It's a pretty big room, so if anyone else wants to do the same, you can like kind of divide right, well. and conquer that way. Uh, twenty-five. I guess the cloud kill thing is going. Natural to twenty. 
for a 24. All right, dude. 20? For a 24, it's less than I'm getting almost in my glasses. Well, mate. Closer than that 20. I just rolled two natural twos. Very good. <laughs> um, so between the three of you, uh, Elasrin, you find a small case of potions kind of tucked under, uh, kind of like tucked away behind some books and stuff, kind of spread, like definitely hidden from plain sight. Mm -hmm. um, and in that case, you find five potions total. Three just seem okay. to be normal potions of healing, as you recognize. And Just two of them, uh, definitely a slightly larger uh, flask. Mm. And the color of the liquid um, is crimson. Very much similar to that of a healing potion, although it being it, it's slightly darker. Uh, and you can kind of see it pulse with a dull light, and it kind of calls to mind a heartbeat. Okay. I will... You find two of those. Find two of those. And I will... Three normal potions of healing. I'll just pocket the three potions of healing. And then just kind of... Wait, sort of, wait for everyone else to finish their checks. And see where everyone else is found. Before okay. doing show and tell the class. Um, <laughs> Jax? Uh, yes, sir. You find two potions that I think you've seen these before. Uh, potions of water breathing. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you've seen this before. You recognize those, and you also find a small satchel, and inside it, it seems to be the missing piece of the tablets that you were looking for. We will need that. Yeah. Uh, Davian, that's some real interesting, just like desk, like the wood, really well made, well, well crafted. But that's about all you uh, kind of get distracted by. Just this very well made desk that sits in the room. Does it help that that's with a total of um, four? No. <laughs> no, it does not. Um, so yeah, between uh, the three of you, a bunch of potions and the missing piece to your um, your doohickey. Is there a, oh. a chair in this room? Uh, there's like basically like there's a, the, a, there's a desk, right? There's a chair behind like every. There's a couple of desks, and they're all like all these like shelves, kind of like mounted onto the wall. And there's like a couple of chairs just kind of spread about haphazardly throughout the room. Yeah. I'm going to pull up a chair. Um, can I attach the two pieces together? Do you have the other uh, piece? Was, uh, yeah. was that in your possession? I believe uh, I then had it. You can definitely like kind of like hold them together, and as they kind of line up, they kind of automatically just snap into into position. With a pretty satisfying click. Uh, the surface of this tablet begins to emanate a, a, a dull, kind of like baby blue light. Um, you proficient in Arcana? I am. Make an Arcana check. Please roll well. His brain's big. Uh, 19? 19. Uh, you recognize that this uh, is a one-use um, device, um, <clears throat> and it seems to have similar properties as the um, the plane shift uh, spell. You also see that there is no destination set, but you do know that... Um, even though you, you can choose a destination to go to. For, in order for it to be a guaranteed success, to be on target, you need someone to set the destination that is very familiar with where you're going. So, obviously, depending on what location you think might be best, you'll need to see if someone around you is familiar Marcus enough to set this. Mm -hmm. uh, I will relay that information to the party. Well... Yeah. I suppose it depends where we're going. By what? What's the option? Well, we need really to go to Daramoth, like... no? Well, there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's a couple of options, really. What's, what's the Daramoth's best? Daramoth, where, where your head cleric is, you said. Yes, but um, obviously, I don't know if he's 
properly patched up after the shit he's been through. He might be a little weak still, so that's no guaranteeing. But uh, there's another option in Segalia. Um, that option being Cleric's Refuge. I'm sure you've seen it on the map. It's a place where I got trained. Uh, lots of powerful clerics there. That will clerics be able to in get the, the name, job. That would make sense. <laughs> It's uh, a bit away from Daramuth, so I don't know if you had business in Daramuth still, so, but... I, I feel the chance of success finding a cleric powerful enough to, to perform a proper resurrection ritual are significantly higher in Cleric's Refuge compared to Daramuth. And it's a place that you'd be markedly familiar with, so... It's probably yeah, a good I've idea. spent my entire childhood and the early years of my adult life there being trained, so I'm... Very familiar. Really then we go there. We should uh, probably find our tiefling friends and let them know. Mm. Yes. Go back Definitely. outside. I'll hand the um, table over to Marcus since he seems to be the most familiar with yeah. refuge. And damage. Hello. Because I'm a big dumb, we had this conversation, because I'm a big dumb and assumed foolishly mm. that we would be going to one place. Mm -hmm. Can you, do you know off the top of your head uh, where His Excellence told us we could drop off the tooth? Yes. I think we plan on Daramoth. He mentioned Stonefall, Daramoth, yeah. Hammerdawn. Uh, Stonefall, Daramoth, Hammerdawn, uh, Port Segal are four places he mentioned. Um, and from Claire's Refuge... If we end up in some, like, situation where we go to Cleric's Refuge and Marcus is like, oh, the Cleric should probably take uh, command of the two to make sure, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's, I'm going to be pissed. Wait, are we <laughs> wait, wait, weren't we retreating that for... No, for Lotus Gang. No. Lotus Gang. Lotus Gang. Yeah. 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 What's your question? Origi originally, we were going oh, we to hand it to someone in Stonefall, someone in Stonefall. which is where Brooks' family is. Yeah, However, yeah. we were also told that we could take it to Daramuth, Har Hamadorn, or Port Segal. Was there something in the Whispering Woods, or am I crazy? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah crown for the, the, the crown that that's, we can that's get night webs. to make That's main plot, Nightwebs. Right. right. It's Nightwebs main plot. I'm getting confused. Yeah, no, you're, you're in Sigali, it's kind of do like a side quest and the main mission yeah. at the same time kind of thing. And visit Brooks. Is, uh, er, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and like Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. Tooth, tooth, tooth was side tried. quest, Brooks was side yeah. quest, the crown is main quest, basically. I <laughs> would be, I would be tempted to say that once we've been to Cleric's Refuge and tried that avenue even though it's close to the Whispering Woods that we should probably go back to Daramuth to hand off you know I don't necessarily think we want to be holding on to that for a long period what's the um trip time from Daramuth to Cleric's Refuge I would, would few, I know that Doug? Few, I mean Marcus knows uh, the few uh, days. Max knows there's no problem I mean we could always go to Daramuth and go up to Cleric's Refuge if we want to get rid of this tooth quickly. We have 10 days. That... Mm. So if we... It's maybe we if we go to Daramuth... Did did His Excellence tell us who we could hand it off to in Daramuth? No, because we, so we plan on Stonefall, so no. I don't I think so, but... I don't think he I'm mentioned any... Uh, no, I don't think he mentioned names. He just mentioned a bunch of locations. And then you were and like... And out of... Arr, 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 Stonefall. And then that's kind of... And out of character... Yeah, that's kind of what it ended. Um... Daigon and Octanus, or again, doing it again. Daigon and Kess, what the <laughs> fuck, Laura? Daigon and Kess have um, a map with certain yeah, locations like, uh, on it that are part, like yes. safe houses for the group, so we could probably find uh, the I organization. Think that, I think that's, that's just on the new continent. Yeah, that's not Sagan. Oh, right. oh shit, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Never mind. So, in Daraworth, we're gonna have to search around to find someone to give this to and we're risking it maybe not going as planned I, I, we go to how, how, long, how long is it from Stonefall no... to Daramuth I think we go it's to also a few days first right? as well. uh, from Stonefall to Daramuth would be like like a like a 
two, maybe three day trek. Clex Refuge to Daremoth is a three to four day trek. Clex Refuge to Whispering Woods is like a one day trek because it's right there. Um, so, realistically, Daremoth is relatively go... central uh, compared to a lot of the other locations, which is why a lot of places will have like similar ish travel times to get to there to and from Daremoth. With some exceptions. Realistically, course. if we go to Daremoth. I think it makes more sense to go down to Stonepool to hand this off if we can't find the correct individual in Diarmouth. I would hate for us to think we're giving this to the right person and not giving it to the right person. Are you saying this but to, like, if Marcus is there? Yeah, like, Marcus can listen to this. I mean... Uh... We're doing, if we're going down to Stonepool, we're doing Clerics Refuge first. Yeah, we have to we're go. No, to we're, going, we're going to Cleric's Refuge first, no matter what. I mean, I yeah. agree. I think we go to Cleric's Refuge, and then I think, as much as I hate it, we just have to suck up the travel of this thing. And yeah, who cares? I'm, I, we've been I, we've been mm, talking I about with like, it in a bag for fucking weeks at this point. I do not like, like it. I know it's not that long. But... It's been literally less than a day. <laughs> It's been less than 24 and, hours. Uh, yeah. been no, less... no, no, you, you had what, one more. It's been about right? 24 so hours. You're on day two right <laughs> yeah, which is eight hours. It's less than 24 hours. <laughs> it's coming up to 24 well, you're hours. On, yeah. You know, you're on day two. <laughs> yeah, day two of still, being we're in, in hell, hell time. Okay. Feels like week it's five. like four Let's... days. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it I makes mean... you that nervous, I can probably just put it in one of my vessels and then it's not even on the material. I... That makes me even more nervous. I don't like moving it. I mean, it's in different bag of holding, so it's already not on this plane. Right. Yeah, but at least sure. we know that there's no way into the bag of holding without... Right? Like, that's how it works? Like, no one can just fucking... No, from different... you have to... Where... You have to... No one can go and like, open the bag and pull out. Yeah. yeah. Well, they can also out. just open the bag and dump everything out. No, yeah, but, but no, I mean, no, like, no one's I mean, like, if no one like... physically has your bag, there is no way that anyone else can access what's in your bag. As far as I know. Imagine you going to the dinner I mean, of someone else's bag of holding. And pull out whatever is in there, if it's in there, and they know it's in there, and they think about no, it. No, 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 no. I mean, bags over here. Nobody powerful enough can be like, I'm just going to reach into that exact fucking moment in planar bullshit without having access to the physical bag. It's right, rather... yeah, yeah. You, you, yes. Uh... I'm, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. No, no one can just reach into wherever in the. No one can plane shift to a bag of holding. Void plane. The, where, where is, holding I don't know why this is taking so long to explain this. It's quite a simple. Quite like, even I'm getting the it. Two, right, yeah. The tooth is fine in the bag. We'll go yes. to Cloak's Refuge and bring our friend back to life, and then we'll figure out what yes. we're doing from there. Yeah, I just. what. I, never fucking mind. It can stay in the bag. Brooks, it's not your fault. Davian's being the fucking idiot here. <laughs> I'm How am I being an idiot? It's safe in the bag as it is anywhere. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yes, I'm gonna. I, I walk away. I'm dumb out. <laughs> I'm like, I just put it in the vessel. It'll be help. just as safe in the vessel as it is in the bag. We could put yeah. it in the bag and put the bag in the vessel, and then it's what. No, right, put the bag in the because isn't the bag and the vessel different I'm things? <laughs> sure, but they still sort of work the same way, right? No, 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 no. Because the vessel, the vessel goes somewhere, right? Like the vessel goes. To a place that exists. Mm, Only I think one of them. Has two different vessels, and one of them does. I have two different vessels, and one of them does. One of them does. <laughs> I'm gonna find something to kill myself in this room. There's a lot right of feet to this problem. Don't worry. Jax, ask the, the magic poison. petitioner whose oh opinion I've got. Oh my god! Are we still going through this? It. Just, Holy it's shit. fine. Let's just go. <laughs> the tooth is fine. Let's find the fucking. It Flings, whatever the what were they called, the iron. Oh, I found these crusade. jacks. You don't have to know what these are. I find these potions that are fucking beating a heart in them. <laughs> I'm like, these are beating. Uh, I could identify them uh, if you want to wait like a minute. And I, I still shake them. I still shake them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll take one of them and cast identify for a minute. Uh, <laughs> they are potions of vitality. Oh, whoa. So Sweet, I will let you what, guys know about uh, that. What those do <laughs> is um, when you drink this potion, it removes any exhaustion you are suffering and cures any disease or poison affecting you. For the next 24 hours, My you regain God. the maximum number of hit points for any hit die you spend. The potion's crimson liquid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so it's basically 
The cure I disease slash too. cure poison removes exhaustion, uh, and you, for next 24 hours, guaranteed max HP on hit dice that you spend to heal. So, so yoink. <laughs> yeah, now, now you have two of them. Yep, there you go. The more time I spend with all of you, the more I realize I never want to fucking try and learn anything magic. It's Why? really not that complicated. It's above oh, him. <laughs> it's anyway. anyway. Brooks be missing Dagon even more now. The only other it's, not caster in any way. It's not that complicated. <laughs> says the man who spent the majority of his life training at an academy to do this kind of magic. Oh I mean, yeah, come on. No, 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 no. Don't fucking pick on. You did the fucking. You do the magic shit now as well. Yeah, I'm saying. All right, that's different. It's, I'm a man. I'm just saying, saying, there's levels saying, to to complicated two, magic. A bag of holding really isn't that complicated. It's just a bag that goes Marcus, to a Marcus, private space. Marcus, we just brought you back to life. <laughs> we can Marcus, quite as Marcus, easily put you back. Have I ever struck you, you as a man who understands? Well, look at it, look at it this way then. You're wearing pants, right? Your no. pants have pockets. No. Can someone I... reach into the pocket of your pants without physically going oh, into your pants? I'm gonna fight him. I cut. <laughs> By the way, it does oh, a smash way. cut to allow him smashing his head against the door. I. He just said possibly. How was that? How I? I don't I know. And there's probably a myself. cell. <laughs> Remember how I said this is gonna be a less chaotic session? And we're gonna be more grounded today. Yeah. No. Laura, you first. My point. I blame you. I don't Laura, it's your fault. <laughs> I'm mad. Oh, this whole time in character. Yeah. You go into this, Prezi. I pull out the Glock, put it to Brooks's head, and fire every fucking bullet I have. All right. Even well, um, anyway. Jesus. I'm sorry for trying to explain it in simpler terms. That was my bad. No, I I get your point. I just I, I feel very out of my depth, especially in the fucking hells. Short answer is. Bag of holding is probably the safest place to store something. When well, Brooks uh, says that he's out of his depth in the hells, and I just give him this look of like, "Think you're a fucking." <laughs> <laughs> you you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Not gonna have any dirty fucking looks from the man who uh, continually sneaks I'll away. I'll go check the hallway. Mm -hmm. See if things are uh, coming towards us because we probably made a decent bit of noise. Fighting uh, make a perception check. <laughs> it wouldn't give us another combat. No, never. Can I, uh, can I, can I go with Jax, 18. and while he's doing that, mm -hmm. um, use my divine sense as well, just okay. to see if I can sense oh, within 60 invisible. feet any celestial, fiend, or undead. Uh, you do not divine sense anything. Uh, cool. What did you roll, uh, Soko? 18? Uh, 18, yeah. You do hear uh, a, a, a s footsteps approaching. Definitely, yeah. uh, you, you reckon like about five or six sets as um, coming around the, the corner, running towards you, you see the, the rest of the Iron Crusade all kind of approaching and they enter the room that you're in. All right, we have what we came for and left a lot of dead fiends in our wake. I think it's time to go if you're, if you're ready. Which is going to gonna be honest with you. We're just going to leave. We can just go, so... Oh, from, you got this from right here? Plan. Yeah. yeah. We We've got the means. We're gone. Right. We, going. Um, wait, wait. No, no, no. What happens with... And I point at Prezi. Well, she comes with us. Obviously. I <laughs> wonder if Prezi wants to come with us. Wait, as, as they say, I, I, I just go... Um, I tap on the person's shoulder and say, um, Apologies, but they come with you. Sorry. Sorry. No, but uh, they. You should have hit him with the not a girl, not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they come with us back to back to camp, and we we go over the plans, and we you know it's... figured that was pretty self-explanatory. No, Razzy, yeah, did I miss something here? Uh, my directive was to protect them while they went on their excursion in the hells. If they are leaving, then I believe that means my time is over. And I will go back to protecting you who are staying in the hells. 
Pretty good. Prison, you've been a hell of a protector. Oh, this one has definitely saved all of our asses more than once before. I do not feel like I performed particularly well, but I appreciate the compliment. We're not dead, so uh, that is that's, a success. That's oh, a win. One of you was. For Anymore. One... Yeah. Are they now? <laughs> fine. We're good. See, we're fine. Everything's good. Everything is fantastic. So. All right, well, if you're wonderful. going to just, I don't know, uh, disappear from this plane, from his room, then wish you all the best. And uh, if you ever happen to be around these parts or, you know, maybe Avernus or something, um, don't be a stranger. I don't think we really plan on it, but thank you for keeping us in one piece down here. Thank you uh, for made the it assist very far as well. I mean, the fact that you beat one of the Dark Eight and kind of gave us some help breaching this place, um, we appreciate it. It made our life a lot easier too. Well, yeah, that's what we do, you know, with the ragtag fuckwits or whatever. That's not our name. <laughs> ragtag <laughs> fuckwits. No, why would you put that into the that. universe? Don't remember as, that. As, just, as Davian says that, group. you just hear this awkward like, ha, 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 like, like stunted laugh <laughs> from Prezi <laughs> because <laughs> I can't no, have how an organic was, laugh. No, how is it How is it not like can... Oh, like, like Baymax, can, like, ha, 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 like in Big Hero 6. Can can laugh. Laugh. No, can, yeah. can, can sitcom laugh, surely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just weirdly like 20 people. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. I'm gonna whichever one, sound pops the, out. Yeah, whichever one of the tieflings looks strongest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna pull Kiss a him. cat. You're gonna pull a what? He, I'm gonna, it might be a them. It might gonna, be a you're she. Gonna, you're gonna pull a what? Pull a cask of ale out of my bag and pass it across to them because I don't know what gender they are yet. You're the one profiling them for looking strong, so they must like beer, so I don't know. No, no, guys, no, 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 let's relax. Come no, no, on, no. let's relax. They're the strongest and therefore can carry it. Uh, he the takes, it, takes it from you and kind of like puts it on her shoulder. Thank you very much. We'll uh, make good use of this. Sure it's hard will. to come by bad down here. Yeah. All right, Marcus. <laughs> Dude. What's up? Wait, Wait what happened? I don't know, dude. My throat just like closed up as I was trying to talk. <laughs> so fuck? full of fucking jokes, dude. <laughs> Jack's got a word that's original stuck in his stuck in his back of throat. Like, it's a lifesaver, okay? Oh, lifesaver. Sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry to well, assume. Did the opposite, like, there, mate. <laughs> Try again. Take two. Uh, yep. uh, take us home, Marcus. To Clark's refuge. Take us home. Country roads. The home plane. Literally That's... anywhere. Just got us the fuck out of here. Not anywhere. Anyway. Anyway. Clarence yeah. Starfield. As, as they get ready Naria. to leave, I'm just I'm just gonna like awkward wave and it's like goodbye. It was nice protecting you. I Aww. give one of the, the awkward like fucking one finger salute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, I scoop up on her like grab a baby. A, grab a hold of each other. Put your. Oh. Oh. Put, make sure to put a hand on, on, on your neighbor or something and um, you kind of like form a circle that way. And he takes, he looks at the tablet and kind of like just does a little ding against a tuning fork and just says, Cleric's Refuge. And with that, the tablet just disintegrates. The tuning fork falls to the ground. And you all, your vision goes white and you feel this like tug as you all kind of get pulled into uh, a tra just some form of transportation that you suddenly blink, your vision comes back, and you are surrounded by these tall castle walls uh, uh, um, in some sort of a courtyard, big fountain, clerics all around you, kind of hustling and bustling. The scent of, of cut grass and lavender kind of fill, fills your nose, replacing the horrid sulfuric rotten egg scent that you've been smelling for the last couple of days. There's the sun's Right in the sky, not a cloud to be seen, nice blue sky. You are back on the home plane. <coughs> I take off my cloak and I take off my shirt and your pants. 
I don't take off my pants for a fucking like monastery or something, dude. That's probably not very cool. Oh, it's probably like <laughs> it's probably fucking consecrated ground as well. And I scream. As you gratitude. kind of like do that and also just kind of appeared, you definitely already caught the attention of, of, of some of the clerics that are kind of looking at you strangely and then approach you. And then they look at Marcus and. Marcus? What? How did you. Why? What? And Marcus kind of cuts him off. No point. We're in a hurry. Get Father Alt. And they immediately start running. Uh, running away, and the rest, there's still some clerics kind of looking at you, but they soon kind of just go back to what Should they I... were doing before. If I find one of the clerics real quick, I'll just look, what day is it? <laughs> <laughs> Where are uh, we? What time? Fuck. You guys the day are it's supposed to be right retreat? now is the 13th of Septima, and if time went linear... It did. Yeah. So it FYI. is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. You oh, there, boy. Oh. What day is it? You guys, keep it, you guys keep a better track of oh. the fucking date than I do, so that's that's great. Thank you. Yeah. Very much. <laughs> yeah, the time as far like it's kind of very similar. Oh, it's no, yeah, very similar. Oh, cool. Um, I'm gonna pull a diamond out of my bag real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, Elizer, you, you might Hello. want this. Oh, hello. What? And it's so, a what? diamond worth 300 gold. Worth 300 gold? I'll add that to my list because apparently I have one that's 500. Apparently, it's oh, they have one that's 300 because I keep forgetting that's in my bag. Oh, what the f I, what the fuck I found is my the nearest patch diamond. of grass and mm -hmm. I am just brawling. Uh, oh, while around, you guys wait for yeah. this, this Father Alt figure to to uh, be fetched for you, Marcus kind of like gathers you all around him and sees Davian kind of chilling somewhere. So he's moving the group to Davian. Um, I'm just fucking like stop based on the floor. I are you? Um, well, maybe maybe you, Alansdren, are a bit more aware of resurrection rituals, but any experience? Not doing one of them to revivify, and I kind of I witnessed one because you for training, but like years ago, it's been a long time. You should since all I've seen know that resurrection rituals, like the one that hopefully is about to be performed on Daigon, are a lot more complex than a relatively simple, you know, heat of battle revivify. Uh, it requires the deceased's closest to uh, convince their soul to come back and even if the ritual succeeds and, and everyone does their part if your friend has no wish to return to life then she won't all i'm trying to say is don't you know um what do they say prepare for the worst but pray for the best and i'm one of those situations because you know Father Alt will do a better job at, at explaining exactly what he needs of you, but long story short is even if you all do the best possible thing you could do, it could be as simple as your friend may not want to come back. And that's that. If that's what her soul desires, then that shall be it, though. I think we might... We'll try what we can. Trying to read Laura's face to see if. Uh, <laughs> just I don't know. Us no hints I don't know if all. this has been decided ahead of time. <laughs> a lot of things got like discussed, and there's there's possibilities. <laughs> there's Great. options. Love it. Super. Laura's just gonna. Laura's just gonna be like flipping coins or just doing some stuff. <laughs> just like, what do I feel like today? Am I gonna <laughs> live? Oh, I'm not gonna live. Did I wake up like Daigon today? Mm. Yeah. No, I'm feeling more my second character. Do I want to travel at the speed all of light? Say, or... All I will say is my backup character, Dutch poked some holes in my plan for them, so it was on me to fix them if if they're going to be used. So we'll see what happens. Sure. Why would you have a backup character? Because obviously Daigon wants to stay. Come on, Laura. Yeah, yeah, come on. Why would you make a backup character, huh? Uh, at the that backup point, character uh, is just this, this tall uh, man... Roughly, you guess, uh, late 40s, early 50s of age. Uh, wearing this this bright white robe with golden trimmings and finishes. Um, approaches, recognizes Marcus, and looks at you all. Um, you called for me? What, what, do, what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Marcus? And friends, um, didn't expect any visitors today. It's, it's, it seems to be going on. I'll have my uh, symbol of fucking Joaquin. It's a bit more visible. 
and just be like, this is not a visit of pleasure. We need your help reviving a fallen ally. You see his eyes kind of, you know, widen. Oh, um, well, came to the right place. Um, I'm going to need, let's, let's take this conversation inside to a bit more of a appropriate location. And he escorts you all through the courtyard into this large... Cleric's Refuge is by all means, like, it's not like a cathedral or chapel. It's 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 kind of like this very, very typical, like, medieval castle. Which is completely converted into, like, a training ground for clerics, essentially. Uh, with a lot of statues and altars and all sorts of deities kind of, like, being depicted on artwork and murals and, and whatnot. But eventually he guides you through the courtyard into the castle proper... Uh, towards his own uh, his own chamber. Uh, this chamber, pretty large, enough furniture and seating for everyone to kind of take a seat on. As he sits on on this this very like this like grandfather like chair, this super big, very comfy. He kind of like you can see him as he sits down. He kind of like sinks into the pillow a little bit and kind of bends forward. Um, so um, a resurrection. Um, ritual. Um, may I get a little bit more context about the who's and, uh, what led to this point? I will look at Cass to be like, oh, we should get that. You want me to go get her? Yeah. Well, um, what, what, do you, where, where, hmm? where is she? Uh, she is in my... in here. Fascinating. Don't, uh, well, if she's in there, leave her in there for now, because if this is going to happen, we're going to be going to the medical, uh, section of this, of this, of this place. I just wanted to have a, a, a I want a bit more context. Who am I attempting to resurrect? I mean, what happened? Uh, because these things could matter I mean, for the ritual. Her name is Daigon. And right. we were unfortunately transported to the ninth layer of hell where we fought one of the Dark Eight and one of the Dark Eight killed her in the ninth layer of hell. Was it wasn't not? It wasn't devils. Well, it wasn't devils. Well, it was a chain devil specifically that killed yeah. Dagon. I was in that fucking fight though. So, that's right. so, 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 are, these me, are pretty muddled up for Alazan right now. I'm pretty sure Alazan was this, also dead at the time. Let me get this straight. So, yeah, you as well. <laughs> went to the hells. Fought one of Hell's intentionally. generals. Unintentionally. Um, <laughs> him, but one of your friends yeah. fell to one of his minions. Is that what I'm getting here? Apparently, yes, I don't really know much. the full. I, I mean, I was dead. Yes. How long has she been deceased? Like a day. day. Mm. Maybe two. Right, that means we're going to need a, a bit more than just a simple. Right? Okay. It was, um, um, fuck. It's part of my, it part of my... Helped. Yeah, I just got gentle re re repaired. That's but... good. That definitely buys us a little more time. Um, alright. Who are you all? Oh, sorry, I'm a Latin Jewess for North Dunbar. Um, we... Dunbar, for North oh. Dunbar. Not the from around here, are you? We're just no. adventurers. No, no, no. Just not. a group of adventurers. Sort of freelance. I mean, types. I'm sort of a rounder. How did you meet Marcus? At church. He was helping <laughs> us, because uh, the, the devil's attacking uh, Darmouth, or the, the town near Darmouth, I should say. Marcus was helping there, helped us, unfortunately got trapped with us we, and got we moved to hell. We caught word of, of what it happened was Nateel, at right? Nateel. We, we caught yeah, word of, of, of the happenings there, and... No, we got told that that town no longer exists. It's just a hole in the ground. Well, it's just in the hells. Well, it was yeah. a hole in the ground full of devils. Natiel is in the hells? Uh, yes. Well, we the did just get there is probably dead. Or escaped. Well, uh, or being tortured. We did hear that a lot of the refugees made it to Daramuth, so I'm sure they can rebuild, but... This is a lot. So you met Marcus there, right? Yes. Um, that adds up. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. This is just. I did not expect my day to pan out this way. 
All right, let's, let's go to the medical bay. In the meantime, I'll prepare the medical bay. You guys can remain here for a moment, and I'm going to need three of yours assistance, preferably whichever three of you were closest to um, the deceased. Because I think you... it's safe to assume yeah, Kess right. would be one of them, even though mm -hmm. she's not here, because she Belle had to go get food. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah, the three of you, whoever, whichever three would fit that, that, that description, are going to need to you know, prepare some words, prepare some things, uh, because it's going to be onto well. you three to you know, convince the soul of the deceased to return to her body. Um, I think... We'll, we'll run you through the, the exact steps of the ritual when we're all in the medical bay, but for now, I'll go prepare. You guys remain here and figure out who's going to do what. Um, you can I'm convince souls in different ways. It can be just by, by talking, if you perhaps have something that they held very dear to them. Um, things like that. Anything that you think may ground them to this plane a bit more. Cool. You know, take all the time you need. If, the, if there is a gentle repose in effect, then we, we should have plenty of time for you guys to properly consider, because this is a, you know, this is a one and done. If this doesn't work, then that's it. And he kind of gets up and leaves and closes the door behind him and kind of leaves you in his chamber to... Uh, Dutch, discuss. as he does that, and before Belle comes back, mm -hmm. uh, if possible, while you're... Can you quickly check the message I sent you? Of course. Just to make sure oh. we're both on the same page. Just say it out loud. We're both, uh, we're both on ah. the same page. The page that Dagon is dead forever. Well, just because since <laughs> Belle, stepped, Belle stepped away for a second anyway, so I'm just making sure... I mean, sure. if all dogs go to heaven, then what happens to cats? <laughs> well, I mean, go to hell. she was They'd already go to hell in hell. Sure. She died in yeah. hell, so like it already. Dude, kind maybe of her soul is forever trapped there. You Imagine. Think about that? Maybe she thought about it. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe she was secretly aware. She was a hairless cat. That's fair. She was a hairless cat. So. <laughs> Laura's backup oh. character is just dying with fur. That's all. Yeah, I just made a tabaxi that isn't hairless. That's my backup. That's all. <laughs> just some basic pitch. She's, she no, she's going to play a race point. that doesn't normally have fur with fur. Oh yeah, we'll do the opposite. I'll be like a human a that's gnome. like covered in hair for some reason. A hairy hippopotamus. <laughs> like Bigfoot. bearded lady. Big, uh, no, big a hairy dragonborn would be cooler. No, no that sounds like a, an eldritch horror. Yikes. Like a hairy dragonborn sounds awful. Nicole grows one bit of stubble and this is what you fucking say. He's an eldritch okay. horror. Okay, listen to me. And fuck. <laughs> while, while Dutch is also answering my question, water heater update, because the guy's gone. Yeah. It has, it looks like it's been fixed. Uh, it only costs it, you five hundred dollars. Yeah, it don't. Well, that's it. Only costs four hundred and thirty dollars. Well, it's Canadian, but, it's yeah. Canadian so yeah, yeah Canadian it's, it's dollars is like what pounds. twenty pounds. The plus side is it's we don't have to pay it today. They're just putting it on our next water bill, so we have time to to figure things figure out. It out, which is nice. Yeah. So that's exciting. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do? Die. <laughs> oh God. My my pray is that I, my I pray is that I swap here that. Hey. That Jack's, that, uh, Jack's Kess and uh, Brooks, Brooks right? going. Yeah, that's what like, I figured. Uh, Brooks was going to suggest Jack's, and then yep. see what I, I, I have. I give Davian that look of being like. Oh, I realized like, Dutch. Uh, if this was easier, we could I, I mean, yeah. them deaf in, and you could tell them if you don't want to type. No, <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. We're waiting for Bell to come back anyway, so it's fine. Look over the last one, just like. <laughs> hey Laura, who do you I'll be there think should talk to Dagen? <laughs> That's cheating. I'm not telling. I mean, I know right away that, dude, which three Dagen, from Dagen's perspective would be the most Dagen like. Dagen was like Jax's helpful, understudy. But I'm not gonna tell like you. Dagen's Apprentice. understudy. And Kess and Dagen were <laughs> Dagen's good friends. Understudy. Yeah, you yeah, because she was got... teaching him fucking. No, I know. It's just funny to think about it that got, way. Um, who got? Who won the meerkat for? Oh, was that? Brooks won the meerkat for that was me. Brooks. That Brooks. Yeah. See, so it's, there's that. It's simple. Me and Eliza will go and do, do patty cake on the grass. Well, I mean, no, I'll be there to definitely not cheat and guidance everyone fucking calls Definitely me, like, not right? cheat. Guidance, guidance. Gu guidance guidance exists, and I'm just if there I like, DM, I don't think you'll be let in. If, I, if like I DM again, Alba, guidance right? is fucking banned. <laughs> like, Alba. like, it's such a Yeah, you need as few people in there as possible. Like, the husband can go in, but come on. 
the so whole that's, film crew, that's everyone. To make sense of what I wanted to fucking put on paper. Yo, let me count. Ca ca yeah, let yeah, me yeah. cast enhance ability on everybody. Let's live stream <laughs> it to kick. To kick. <gasps> yeah, because we can just show. I mean, oh, well. Laura, if you guys need extra money for the water heater, I'm sure if James made an OnlyFans, he'd be I know, swimming right? in it. That's you joke, saying. Duke, but uh, and all of it would just be us. Yeah. But since COVID, <laughs> since COVID, if you have a funeral, then they get like there's the option to live stream them. Oh well, yeah, of course it is. But it's not gonna be live streamed on the fucking streaming platform. It's gonna be on yeah, the also, funeral home. If, if I die also, in the next five also, years, also it's gonna I be camera in the coffin this. being like, "This is your relative, definitely dead." Watch them go into the crematorium. <laughs> yeah, one of those GoPros, the GoPro that's like <laughs> chest-mounted GoPro points at their face. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's the, the, the 360 cam that fucking guy has, the train guy. <laughs> oh, his oh fucking my name. God. No, no, no. The only way you can do that is if it's pre-recorded, like in the morgue. And then you just edit it so it looks like they blink at one point. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Just at one point All in right. like the, the whole I think we've like, come up with our plan. Yeah. I think we're good. <laughs> Where is Wait. Belle? Huh? I was gonna say. She's we, getting we figured food. It out. Hey, she fell down the stairs, leave her alone. Oh no. <laughs> this is technically <laughs> my fault, okay? Wait, it's Dead. eight, right? We take our break at nine, fuck, right, I'm yeah. stupid. Dumb. I mean, we could like, take the like break now, just be I real mean, early. Counterpoint, we all know that Kess is going in, so why don't we just continue the rest of that conversation? Well, just, well, just because if she wants to contribute, but she can contribute to the conversation yeah. when she gets back and just put, say if she has opinions on the others, I guess. But you guys can yep. talk about it yep. now. So, Jax, you're obviously going in, right? I, I, I was Are thinking you... I would, unless Lazarin or Davian has objections. I, I, I look at you. <laughs> It's clearly going to be you, Brooks, and, and Cass. I mean, mm, surely. I'm not great at... Oh, no. You have to be emotional for once in your entire life. Maybe there's more to that. Maybe if you could do that, Brooks, you might be able to get the tether back to her. What about that? Maybe that you... She might care about you more than you care about her. Or you might prove to her that you care more about her than she cares about you. Because that's what care about you fucking need right now. Same amount? I, mean, I, I don't know. Cause that... <laughs> Why is everything transactional with you? I wonder. I literally look at the thing that I've been bought up, sold to. <laughs> it's like, it's not transactional. I, I, I just don't know how I'd word it. Like, maybe I don't have to use words. These have different no how, ways. Look, e even if you fucking. Even if all you do is. Bag, like... Even all we do is tuck you. that meerkat plushie sure. underneath her. Connect and with you more than you rehearsing some shit to sound right. Yeah. Just sound like yeah, you. It needs, it needs to come from you. Even if we do is just do a toast. Even and if cheers. you just sit there and sign language for cock ass and tits. Yeah. Like, she'll probably appreciate it. She was laughing a lot before towards the end. You know, I don't. <laughs> no. she, she really found a sense of humor in hell. That's weird. I. Morbid sense of humor. <laughs> I I just don't. I don't know how to put it. Like, the fuck am I supposed to say? Like, please don't I'm... be dead. Because don't we've got shit to do. I'm... Like, you're. From my understanding, from all the time it's been since I'd last seen this, you don't have to. It doesn't always have to be a persuade, as it were. You don't have to. Reach out well, I can't like, fucking deceive her into it, can I? Well, good. It would be a very you thing to do, would be to deceive someone into life. It's a stupid thing to say. Fuck's sake. But it's trying to become an anchor for the soul. To I can't the... fucking wrestle her spirit. I can't, like. Yeah, sure you can. Brooks, you don't. Weirdly, the less you think about what you're going to say, the probably better the outcome will be. It needs oh, to come I agree from you. Because you never come from your heart. Speak. So if you think now, it'll be weird. Yeah. I... Let it come up. from the heart. You don't need to say, oh, come back so you can do this and this and this, or this is why you should come back. Just express that you care. Let her know why. And that'll be the reason. This would be so Maybe much even... easier if I was drunk or high. Well, like, guess what? Wasted. Get wasted well. and go. Stumble on in, knock over something as you walk in, start doing your things. Knock her I... off the fucking gurney. Alright, try and flirt with one of the priests that are there, you know. 
put her into a, like a like a pin or something while she's on like laying there. Just like get. Stop. One, two. Ah uh, yes. That'll uh, bring her back. Disrespect. Why would I flirt with a priest? I literally look at him. I stare no, at him. No, and no, like, no, 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 no. There are so many things you don't do. You I don't, don't know where this inner monologue's come from, Brooks, you but don't you need to lean on this more. Look, I will admit that I have a very flexible Please. understanding of what should and shouldn't be done, but there are... You don't fuck with mushroom circles. You don't fuck with the dead. You don't mess with priests. <laughs> Wait, what what's about wrong with mushroom priests? circles? Oh, mushroom circles are fucking cursed as shit. What about priests that worship, you mushroom know, circles. sexy gods that are like, oh, Like who? I don't fucking know. You should know better than me, but I'm sure there's a god of fornication or whatever out there somewhere and the priests worship by just banging loads. I think I might have found a religion. Dionysus. <laughs> Is this where we, we ask Dutch if there's an in-law deity of fucking... His name's, his name's Dionysus. In D&D law and in Greek. Hold on, give me Those big bountiful jugs full of wine. Mm-hmm. You got nice jugs. True. Alright. So what's going on? This is not my <laughs> fucking... This is not my forte. This is not... I didn't know Bell was getting a 12 course meal. Like, yeah, yeah, no. So... <laughs> I promised that I would fucking. I was like, oh, I'll get you food because it's birthday session. I even offered for Duke as well. Yeah, but there's no, there's there's no way to. Well, that's nice. There's like one very specific app that you could possibly order. She's on, to she's on her way back up. Okay. Did... We can figure it out for next time if you really want them. If you really want food next week as a birthday present, I'll get you food. Don't tempt him for it. Hmm. <laughs> it won't be cursed. You're not Koiba. It's only funny when it's Koiba. No, it, it's like... True. There's a one food delivery app here, and it's like really local, and I don't think there would really be a way for him to fuck with it. I mean, I will just send you the fucking money for it, so... This is the new trend. Everyone gets birthday food. Yo! Apart I'm down. Dodge. What the fuck? <laughs> And Laura. What the fuck? I feel like next session, though, it's far enough for my birthday. Like, this is really close. Like, Belle and Duke's birthday was literally, like... I mean, counterpoint, I'll get you food on your Fishes. fucking birthday stream. Yeah. That's James's job. Okay. I and what fucking time do you call this? We've been worried, <laughs> young lady. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you fell Hi. down the stairs. This is a close we thought you fell down the stairs. And I wasn't there to push you. Yep, we... So, Bell, we already know who's going, but now you have to guess. Me, I is you. There's three. There's three people. You need three. Oh, there's three? I think Bell was already yeah. gone for that part of the... Yeah. The I was already gone yeah. for that. There's yeah. three of us. Who's right. going? Me. Jax. Bro... I love, I love how she was more confident in me than Brooks. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah because we, you so, were like fucking writing in a journal and shit. To kind of get back, uh, Bell's here now. So you were told Sorry. that for this ritual, um, you're currently still in uh, Father Alt's private chambers. He left you there to kind of discuss because he told you that three of you are going to have to be an active part of the resurrection ritual. He mentioned that, you know, probably the people closest to the deceased um, have to basically try and get in contact with the soul of the deceased to um, try and see if, if they can get her to agree to come back. Uh, and that can be done in a variety of different ways, uh, depending on how your bond with the, the deceased was. Um, so he went to the medical area of this uh, of, of Claire's Refuge, of this castle, to get that ready uh, while you were still kind of in discussion in this uh, in this room. That's basically what you missed, though. <laughs> cool. 
Thank you. So then, we'll just, just wait for the father, I suppose. But if you guys should <clears throat> semi prepare what you might say, but maybe not you, Brooks, as we say. <laughs> From the heart. A few more minutes pass, and uh, the door opens, and Father Alt uh, steps in. All right, the um, uh, medical area has been properly prepared. I've told everyone to leave the room, so we'll be in complete privacy there, so you can speak, you know, from the heart, and uh, the only person to hear it will be me, but obviously sworn to secrecy and all that. So if there's anything you want to say or do that might not be entirely something you'd like to say in public, you don't have to worry about anything. I, d d don't look at me like that. We've had some odd... <coughs> Odd, odd requests of the years. I told you, sex priests. <laughs> <laughs> I, the day you find me a deity of that specific domain is the day I convert. Well, there's Melil, right? God of partying and having fun, so it's probably more up his alley, to be honest. Is it now? <laughs> I feel, I feel like a deity that's all about keeping the party going definitely would also Out of many enjoy... alcohols, probably, or fertility. Yeah, right. Anyway, anyway be like good us. luck in there, guys. Don't fuck it up. I mean, are we allowed in as well? Those aren't You're allowed in, yes, but just three of you are going to be active part of this, and the rest of you can I think I'll, you know, um... watch. Are we going to go roll on the grass some more? I think I'll go roll on the grass some more. Mm -hmm. You sure, Devin? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, right, ponies. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> those that want to come with get escorted. Bless you. Get escorted uh, to this castle's medical medical bay, I guess, medical area. Uh, very large space, a lot of beds, um, and there's private rooms as well. But the entire medical area is is completely empty right now. Um, in the middle sits a, a large stone altar with decorations and, and depictions of all sorts of deities. And you can see that <clears throat> Father Alt already put some, some like cloth and, and a small pillow on it uh, to make it a bit more comfortable for the, you know, for the person lying on there if they do come back. Um, all right. Um, well, if you... I don't really exactly understood what you meant, but if you could get... The body of the deceased and just place her gently onto onto that table there. Great. Be right back and I'll go in the vessel. Uh you go in the vessel and uh Blue is kinda of sitting there uh on a chair, still with next to Daigon, who is still laid on top of your bed. And he kinda of gets up. Um Don't inhale? No! We, we got out. Phenomenal. All right. So you're going to be wanting... Yes. Um, right. Well, go kind of grab her. All right. <laughs> so you just, just grab a hold of... Uh, mm -hmm. Of Diagon and, and uh, pop back up. Yep. As you do, uh, Father Alt kind of looks... All right. Uh, you, you weren't kidding. Mm -hmm. Just... just Put it down, and um, I'll, I'll run you through what we're going to be doing. Try and get her up on the thing. Um, you can see the cleric immediately starts lighting some some like bunches of candles, kind of on the corner of each or each corner of the of the large stone altar slash now makeshift bed table. All right. Mm. Which three of you are going to be partaking in this? I will. Good. And me. That'd be me as well. Very good. All right. Uh, the rest of you, I'd ask you to step back a bit, give them the space they need. All right. What we're going to be doing is we're going to each stand on one end of the table. I'll be at her head, and then you can decide, you know, one of you at her feet, and then one of you on either side. 
when that's uh, when that's done, I'll start by placing my hand on her forehead, saying a few words. Um, when the ritual begins, I will be a little less responsive, as I'm going to be very focused, so try not to break my concentration. Um, you go one by one, order doesn't necessarily matter, to uh, you know, give it your best to try and convince them of, of, of returning to their body. Um, whichever way or that may be, or whatever shape that will take, uh, is completely up to your discretion. Anything goes. If you think it will genuinely, genuinely help, by all means. Any questions? No. All right. Then let us begin. And he st basically stands directly at Daigon's head and, and puts his, his hand on her forehead and just looks at you all. Uh, getting into position and he closes his eyes and begins muttering some words and when he opens his eyes again they're just like bright white it's like almost like glowing and he mutters some words and uh which one of you would like to go first i'll look at jacks wow thanks for that one appreciate that <laughs> get fucking out with bitch Cass has to go last, right? So, I'll uh, take my boots of flying, kind of set them next to Daigon's body. Okay. Um, you've been my right hand assistant throughout our travels together, and you, I would consider you to basically be my adoptive daughter. And I know that we can't pull you back, but we would love to have you here. And we really just want you back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Roll a d20 and add your proficiency bonus. And DM me the results, please. Don't say that loud. DM privately. You motherfucker. Oh, keeping it Fuck secret. It. Oh, we don't You're know who up. fucks it. And I'm guessing that just means end and you'll just DM me whatever, the outcome. Okay. <laughs> and it's just proficiency bonus? Just proficiency bonus. Now's when we see who has the best poker face in the group. Because if one of y'all rolls a nat one to see if you can hide it. Can't wait for the nat one celebration. Poker. like... <laughs> I pulled out my weighted <laughs> dice just to kill Dagon. Okay. Uh, who wants to go next? I'll go next, I guess. Brooks is going to speak very quietly, sort of glance at the group and try and keep it very private. Mm -hmm. Dagon. If you have truly found peace and are happy where you are, then you deserve it, and I don't intend to try and force you back. But if you want to, we're here. There are people that care about you, and I hope you knew that before you went. Okay, when you're done... Roll the 20, add your proficiency bonus, and DM me what you roll. Okay. My IRL cat just entered the room. I'm taking mm. this as a good omen. There's a real Sorry. cat here right now. <laughs> Bailey is possessed by Dagon. Okay. Um, Kess, that means you're last. Okay. <coughs> Dagon... Um, you're my best friend. You were the only one who cared about me when I came to the material plane. You saved my life a thousand times. And you deserve someone better than me as your closest friend. If you come back, I promise I'll do better. I just... 
I need you. But if you don't want to come back, then stay where you are and I'll figure it out. It's up to you. I'm just sorry. Roll the 20 and add your proficiency bonus and uh, DM me what you rolled. Can I get everyone to deafen for a moment, except for Laura? Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right, we're good. Um, <laughs> Daigon. Door one, two, or three. <laughs> it's been a couple days since Daigon has uh, asked. Daigon, you find yourself... Um in some form of afterlife. You're sitting in it's this just very reminiscent of of, of of home or more like what you envisioned home to be. Kind of like the your dream home. Tabaxi running everywhere, you uh, you know, both with and without fur, living among each other in, in perfect harmony. And oh. you're just kind of sitting in this in this field, uh, enjoying the sunset. And these words, the words said by your friends, connect with you. You hear them. Uh, you hear Jax first. Um, and I'll ask you what Jack said. Would that tip the scales for Daigon to want to come back a bit more? Yes. And then Brooks's words hit you as well. Um, does this kind of fall in the same line of like this does, what would Daigon's reaction be um, to this um, declaration of, oh, wait, these people do care about me after all, huh? Uh, it That one is still very much, like, positive feeling, warm fuzzy, but it doesn't quite have the same pull that would make me want to go back the way Jax's did, okay. specifically because of her whole issues with her parents and never really feeling like she had parental figures that cared about her and then Jack's making that daughter comment that was a that was a biggie <laughs> okay. and finally Kess's words or possibly your longest friend <clears throat> you hear those yeah, words that also would. come in and you and, you and Kess had your ups and downs, especially more <laughs> recently. Um, so with that all in mind, the, 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 the words said by your friends, does Dagon want to come back, or is Dagon satisfied where she is? No, she th that those would be enough to make her want to come back, yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Well, good to know. How bad did we fuck up? Hmm. Oh, I, hate this. I hate this so okay. much. <laughs> Lastly, um, Father Alt will say a few more words in this. It's weird. It's almost like he's speaking, but there's like a mixture of languages going on. Like there's going to be some words in common, and then suddenly some celestial comes in, and then suddenly some elvish, and it's all kind of like being mushed together and stirred up, as it kind of creating a whole new language on its own. As the eyes glow brighter and, and, and brighter. Um, 
He closes his eyes and a, some light leaves the palm of his hands and begin to irradiate uh, Dagon's entire body. Nice work. The light fades. And these next few seconds feel like days, weeks, months. And I think for the sake of this, we're going to quickly take our break here. I need to, I need to, I need to make sure I that I do some die. things. <laughs> So, up. so we're gonna take a break you a little early. Cunt. But... Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Father All if this goes wrong. I'm, I'm killing Father All on the spot. Quickly on the game murdering. show. That was so this. funny. That was some Matt Mercer level we're shit. Right there. We're, so we're gonna quickly take our break here. If this goes wrong, we genocide oh. clerics starting with a Lazarin because it's his fault. <laughs> Um, True, so good. we'll be back in a few minutes. It won't be a super long break, but I just have to make sure that I I, I do some stuff and, and make sure that yeah. it's all, you know what I mean. Um, so we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> Stick around. Uh, hey, get ready for the massacre of Cleric's Refuge if this goes bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh God, shit. Guys. This is where the party's villain arcs. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, relax. <laughs> wait, Jesus. short break? Short break? Short break. No, short like break you, can, you, can, you can go for a Smokies. Yeah, no worries. Okay. <laughs> Jax takes all right, we'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, sorry about that. Uh, I just had to make sure, you know, that we do things the right way. So I had to. Yes. I don't like all this think thonking. Okay, I, I hate. It. I hate it so much. You'll be fine, man. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm a fucking girl. It won't be. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you, Pixie, for the bits. Thank you. So. That's a wonderful joke, by the way. You probably saw in chat already, but what, 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 what I seen? Dragon right? is Schrodinger's cat. That is a fun, that is that is that's a really joke. good. That is a fun joke. <laughs> that's a good joke. The episode Great of this, that, sorry, the name of this episode has to be Schrodinger's Tabaxi. Schrodinger's right? Tabaxi. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I will make it so. as the light kind of fades from Dagon's body. Kess, your vessel begins to glow. What? Very, very bright. A very bright glow. Kind of levitates off of your chest for a few seconds before going, you know, going back to the normal way it always hangs from your neck. And Daigon's eyes open. What? As my eyelids kind of like flicker and flutter, you see, I kind of shakily raise my hands, and while still lying down, I just sign two down, seven to go. Ow. And uh, only, only Kess knows what that it says. Brooks would get the numbers and maybe, like, understand what they're like, down. I don't down know if you've and... taught me numbers. <laughs> numbers? Like, like, it... like, they're just numbers. Like, I, that case, I would just sign. I would be, like, two down, and then seven. You just, seven. Would, you just wouldn't know what to, the to-go, whatever sign for to-go is, you would miss. No, I'm quick down just, like, two down, Quickly seven. Going, going but... through. Oh, shit, I fucked it up. Hold. What? Oh. Fucking oh. it up. I used the wrong overlay. I was actually dead. Oh, God, no. Oh, is it this one? Yeah. There we go. Oh, there again, I, I had there to quickly, I had to quickly swap back to the overlay that has Daigon's name on the fucking nameplate. Yeah. There we go. Instead of uh, <laughs> But I accidentally chose the one for the fucking first campaign. But we're good. All right, yeah. we're good. Sorry. Uh, Pass is immediately hugging Daigon. I was about to say, Daigon doesn't like get a chance to sit up because the last one's fucking ran over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, like, Daigon, do you feel yeah, very sore? Hug. Uh, your head is, it's, you feel, um, how do I describe this? You kind of, you feel <laughs> sore, but you also feel very, it's very hazy. You're not quite sure what happened. You feel confused, dazed. Um, Father Alt will look at you all. I'll, um, I'll give you the room. Just come find me whenever you're ready. And he proceeds to leave. You want me to go get your friend? The one that went outside? Yes. Yes. So he leaves the room, walks over to outside, and sees you, Davian. And um, you might want to head into 
the medical area. Your friend is awake. Oh, uh, right. I just kind of jump up and put my shirt back on. <laughs> and then hastily make my way inside and sort of poke my head in through the door. You can see the rest um, of the group kind of like Daigon still laying on the table, but the rest of your group just like circling, circling her and, and hugging or doing whatever it is they're doing. Probably should have let Ona into the <laughs> medical room, but I think he's an assistant star. Of... He's allowed. I mean, the rest of the room is like empty and cleared out, so it's not like you're gonna. It's gonna get like. But is only a dog or a bird right now? Or a dog? Right? Yeah, he's a dog. He's yeah. a dog right now. So it's he's not like there's gonna be like an any fur support. like contaminating anything, and if there is fur anywhere, we'll just clean it up me? and make sure that it's clean. I just like step in and whistle and hug an Onu like <laughs> across the door, like jumps across the floor, jumps up onto the bed and licks Diagon's face, and I'll just kind of saunter over. I'll just pat Onu as he licks my face. And just, you know, just anyone who's hugging me, just hug back. But also occasionally just be like, ow! ow. <laughs> or like, or just like wince and like a kind of just scratchy noise comes out of the throat if anyone just hugs I'm too sure. hard. Are you, are you okay? How are you feeling? I kind of just do a like, an inventory of self. Like look over my body. Um, and just say, I think like give a thumbs up. And then sign. I mean, I feel kind of weird but i think that's n natural given you know i pass her potion i pass her like a potion of healing and just be like then you might need this and you look still look pretty fucking beat up i will just chug it does she come back with like one hp like how does that work uh the body would come back with, so. uh, with still with very much the damage la <laughs> still there yeah yeah, that's why it's oh, wincing in the like, owl. Heal like, or anything when she well, came back, just like right. No, uh, you wait, come back with one hit point, don't you? Left. The back blood has been cleaned because Kess made yeah. a point to clean yeah. my body, yeah. but the wounds are probably still there and yeah. stuff like, or like, and just a general any internal, you know, bruising and shit is also still there very much. Or the broken ribs and so yeah, chug that <laughs> healing potion and just be like, oh, it almost, it almost just kind of, and this isn't sign language, just feels like the worst hangover. So I'll probably go away in a bit. Okay, good. And it's like, it feels kind of, just feels heavy. And I'm just kind of like shaking out my limbs a little bit. And I slowly get up and like, just kind of stretch and like test my limbs and my body. <laughs> yeah, it all still functions, definitely. Uh, yep. You feel a bit like it's a bit weird. Uh, you don't yeah. completely feel in control of, about, of everything, but it's... You feel dazed, you're dizzy, you're tired, it's, you know... Yeah, world's worst it's hangover. A, it's, it's a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, how did... How did we get back here? Where is here? Um, we're in Cleric's Refuge. And it's like a, a few days away from Daramuth. Nod and understanding. We uh, fought a lich, yeah. found a teleporting tablet thing, and now we're here. And we also met a very impressive, um, construct? Yeah. Person? Construct? Metal know. person? That's Mechanically cool. inclined and you, person. <laughs> you, you've been <laughs> in my vessel. Oh, there's an, oh, I've always wanted to see what it looks like in there. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, Blue was taking care of you while you were in there. Well, thank him for me next time. Again, yeah, assume I assume it was all in sign language, but you're hearing Kes verbally respond to my half I mean, of the I have, I, have questions, I have questions for him, so yes. I will pass that on as soon as I talk to him. Soon. I'm all so confused. Right is that we're no longer in hell. Hmm. <laughs> I enjoy and that. No longer in whatever space between worlds you were hanging out in while we parted you. Back. Yeah, how was that? You do have a faint memory uh, of of the scene that I described to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, this part I'll write down in the journal so the others can see, and Kess doesn't have to translate. Um, I say, I don't remember a lot. I just remember it felt pretty nice. And there were others like me there. 
but I heard you guys. And even though there were others like me there, still who knows if we'd get along or if they'd even like me. And I had stuff here, so. Eh. And I guess I'll go back there eventually. Like I said, two lives down, seven to go. <laughs> So that's in the journal, you all can read it. Yeah, maybe let's not put that to the test anytime soon. <laughs> and I'll give an extra hug on top of the journal ones to uh, Brooks and Jax as well. Oh. I, I Brooks kind of just pats you on the shoulder and when you stop hugging him, signs drink. Aggressive nod, yes. I will pull out uh, a stormy sky in a pre made bottle. Yum. Well, I think this calls for celebration. Yeah. And a long needed rest. <laughs> Is it considered taboo to get fucking high on consecrated ground? I couldn't give a fuck right now. There is a fucking temple of the sex drug god. Well, I'm sure well, it exists somewhere. Do I, is there, I, is there religious <laughs> symbols here drug. of just like every god, or is there a lot of like, you know, Eros and. Well, the main theme is definitely Eros, but again, there's <sighs> all the Everything. known gods that resemble at least a modicum of good will have some form of presence there, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm sure they won't mind. What time of day is it? Who needs drugs when there's actual grass and trees? <laughs> I will um, pull crazy. out the really expensive bottle of wine that uh, Brooks got me. Fucking pop them. This to air for a little bit, so. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Lie it's down outside and probably fall asleep. So. That sounds like a fantastic plan. Could there be a better place to fall asleep outside than a fucking place full of clerics? It's not like you're going to get robbed or anything. No, I wouldn't put Unless asleep. the god of robbing people is here somewhere. I don't know. Is there a god of robbing people? There's a god well, of everything. Certainly. What would it be god of the same god of sex and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> sex, drugs, and... Robbery. I think that's just the god of rock and roll. <laughs> Marcus will, oh, will, will, will kind of pipe up and, and say, um, I'm, I'm sure they won't mind uh, you taking your time here to unwind and relax, and I'm sure there's beds for you if you wish to stay the night. That's what I intend on doing anyway. anyway. Is there a big bath? Yeah, several. Oh, fuck. Oh, boys. <laughs> is there a big bar? Uh, I'm getting... Oh, God. Is there, oh, my God. Is there, like, a hot tub? Is there, is there like, sauna? Dude, <laughs> sauna, yes. Did you just tub. say sauna? Sauna. 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 My man went oh, finished fuck. for a minute. That's how you say it in Dutch, too, to be fair. Sauna. Hello? We really? are here. Oh. To it's down to Sweden. It right, comes from Sweden. It's the... Mm. the dual. Sauna talk. You know what doesn't come from Sweden, Koiba? Well, you. Hey. Yeah, no, we just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's a Swedish word. Go fuck yourself. You have to murder him like that, bro. Pretty fucking Shit. good. You know, that's fair. Fucking sauna, read it! Okay. Alright, I hate it here. Okay. I'm um, going to go outside. Yeah, me and too. Find With a hop, a skip, and a jump. I would like to find a bench or somewhere to sit that looks out of the way. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna hit the. Sure, yes. yeah. There's um, plenty of, of seating any, yeah. anywhere, both in and outside. I'm gonna smoke some burning bush. I wanna <laughs> make a big daisy chain and put it around Onu's neck. <laughs> okay. I'm getting one drunk in the bar. Now, I'm um, pretty sure Brooks has smoked with before. I think so, yeah. But nobody this campaign has smoked burning bush. Oh. On screen. On screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, every time we finish a session, Dutch is like getting a text from Lord that's like Dagon sneaks out of the, out of the fucking cavern room and gets Oh, dude, I wish it was just Burning Bush. Dagon snort snorting bumps, dude. 
We won so fast. In that moon sugar, <laughs> yeah. when no one's really? looking. What was that shit moon called again? Run? That made you like see into the fucking. Too much. I don't remember, but it shit. almost killed the room. Oh. Oh. That shit. That was the special burning bush. That was the special light. <laughs> no, that was like straight cocaine. No, you know. it was something else, dude. No, man, I smoked it up. <laughs> some kind of cool some stuff. kind of dust. Pixie. Naranko almost called, died from it. Pixie dust. I think, pixie dust. I think yeah. that's yeah. Pixie dust. That's literally what people call PCP. So it's probably. I mean, it wasn't. It that's basically what it did. Let's be honest. But it's real. Yeah. Yeah. So, what happens, Mister DM? Uh, Father Alt will uh, instruct you that you know, kind of gives you a bit a small tour of the place so you can find your way around and offers you bedding uh, for at least the night, and if you decide to want to stay a little longer, uh, you're more than welcome to. And what time is it? Uh, afternoon, like late afternoon-ish. Uh, he also mentions that there will be food for you um, uh, in, a, in, a, in like an hour or so, and you basically just have like, you can do whatever you want, really. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Bash of the Lazarin first, and then I'm gonna yep. spend the rest of the afternoon tinkering. Yeah. I am doing Bastion's whatever Daigon does. Does Daigon, like, get her belongings back at any point? Well, they oh, were no. just, they were with me, like, they never took them off of me. Oh, uh, they we were some still... Okay, oh, fair enough, then. Okay. Get together, didn't we? I think the only thing would be the spear, right? It, it, yeah, the, the spear. I might, anything yeah, else, I, I might be I... like, hey, Kess, can you go get it out of my vessel? Or if anyone put things yeah. in the bag of holding, like, what's... I think most I, of my shit I was, was holding on to the spear, so yeah. just in case. I'll press yeah, it. and then you gave it to me, and it's in the vessel of Propter Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> right. See, I'll get my shit back, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'll go disappear and get it. <laughs> uh, Definitely yeah. bath time. As I would, I would not mind a bath. <laughs> would not mind a bath. Far. <laughs> yeah, no, go for it. If you guys want to go take a bath, you can. There's some mm -hmm. food being prepared for you. Uh, once you've all taken your baths, uh, you, you are given a nice dinner of roast beef and any sides you can imagine uh, are there for you. Um, and then you have your evening. To, what, what would you like to do with your evening before uh, you go to your... Uh, the room that you got appointed to is, is a large room that fits all of you, by the way. There's no need for like okay. um, separating. Um, I'm going to sleep with this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, you're all in the same chamber. <laughs> Like the the beds are are have like these these kind of like drapes around them that you could close if you want some more privacy. Um, is there anything you guys wish to do okay. with your night or evening before? First of all, rest? since no one smoked burning bush on camera in this campaign, how fucking high is Brooks? <laughs> Make a Constitution saving throw. Oh please fuck up! This, this please is, please, please be, be white. Bad. Please be out. Please just be please fucking be ill. Just fucking. Gone. Wait, wait uh, out, baby. Uh, Make it the one. Uh, you have the giggles. Other than that, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... Fuck it, I didn't go for bath early. I'll go for Brooks is bath. happier than ever. I will... Brooks will, now that everyone else is done, go for a bath on his own and just fucking vibe. Okay. Well, the house sucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it lives up to the stories, <laughs> I suppose. I can add it to my list of planes I've been to now. Uh, I mean, if we're um, eating, um, is this while we're having a bath or while we're just like eating? This is just for the whatever day? you want to do with your evening, kind of. This is oh. evening vibes. This is after bath, after dinner. Okay, after dinner, just chat. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna say. By the way, did your guys' dinners taste okay? Mine kind of tasted funny. Tasted what? amazing to me. But... Like, it was just kind of bland, you know? Like, yeah. it was just kind of bland, kind of gritty. <laughs> but I thought bland it might just be with the plate. Like, we've never been to Cleric's Refuge before. I don't know, maybe. It's just the style here. Wait. Hmm. Wait. How is this being communicated? So I'm, I, uh, I'm gonna repeat everything out loud. <laughs> I thought there was about to be a jump scare where, like, we just sit down to dinner and All we're of a done I eating, just start and Dagan like, just goes, "This is food, kind of suck." <laughs> <laughs> that's how she breaks. That she can talk. That's how she breaks. She can talk. She's like, "Gotta fucking hate this shit." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this food sucks. 
No, it's sign language. Mm -hmm. But Kess told, Kess yeah, yeah. reiterated for me. I mean, seemed fine to me, right? Um, same for me. <laughs> seemed better than anything I've eaten for the past three yeah, days. Yeah, it seemed absolutely fine to the rest of you. <laughs> Perhaps it's a side effect of the uh, resurrection. Um, yeah, I mean, you... Makes sense. Is that normal, Aladdin? Aladdin's not there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, of course. What a surprise he got wandering off on his own. <laughs> <laughs> One of the clerks is in the back and he's dragging his body to the woods to go bury it. I mean, being yeah. a cleric that was almost inducted into the Nightwebs through being a cleric, it wouldn't surprise me if there were clerics that were Nightwebs here. Let's just be real. Anyway, I'll just, so I'll just respond to the groups like, maybe it's, again, like, I've been hungover before, and usually it affects your sense of taste, so again, maybe this is just, like, a death hangover, and I'll go away. Hmm. I don't suppose you've been smoking the old giggle bush. They usually, <laughs> not recently. <laughs> giggle bush. <laughs> yeah, it is now. That's funny. That's yeah, funny. I just, I just signed a cast. Not recently. When Davian asks that. Mm, not recently. Yeah, maybe it's a whole. I don't know. I, I'd like to think that if I ever died and came back, that the first meal I ate would be the most amazing food in the world. But I'm a little disappointed. I mean, well, is it, is it disappointing? Is it weird to anyone else that my vessel glowed when she was brought back? Did it? That's cool. Yeah. And like levitated. I mean, um... you said you were storing my body in there, right? So. Yeah, but I brought you out. Well, obviously, but maybe. Maybe there was just some lingering energy. I mean, because I, I do all the, like, we've seen me astral project before. So maybe, you know, there was just some of that leftover astral energy that just had to, to reunite with my body or something. I'm not, I've, I've not usually been a philosophical person, but now I just have lots of questions. Yeah, so and do I. Perhaps it's a sign that be... you should be a cleric, guess. <laughs> I laugh I mean... too at that silent laugh i mean I, I also have a lot of questions now but mine can all be answered by a big blue dude so oh <laughs> Jax is terrible with questions <laughs> <laughs> may or may not be able to answer that. to ramble not that one <laughs> uh yeah probably feel some questions for the old uh patriarch or his dad or whatever grand grandfather right. grand patriarch both of them, why not? <laughs> Could be the patriarch of grand descent. I'm just... You know, if it's never done that before... It's probably a weird hmm. sign. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm just... I'll just see how I feel tomorrow after I sleep on it. I'm sure that'll also help. The bath helped. Hmm. I feel my body feels a bit less heavy after that. That's nice. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's, well, it could be something to do with you, Kess, I suppose. It could be something to do with the universe, just kind of getting involved through, you know. Besides, like, the food tasting weird, you don't feel different. Well, like I said, my, my body felt really, really heavy. But I've also felt similar. It's almost like, you know, my limbs were kind of like made of lead compared to before. But I've always, you know, been like that. I felt similar when I drank too much before. So I figured this is just adjustment period. Don't tell me like it's a lie or anything. <laughs> is Can Kess I fly? communicating this at all? Yeah, she's speaking out loud. Yeah, the whole like, like, heaviness, whatever, could just be a result of the fact that in the time that you're dead, you know. I haven't moved for two like, days for yeah, 48 hours, so. Rigor mortis or whatever. Yeah. You know, weird things are going on that are trying to undo themselves. I mean, I could try and go for like a quick run or something, but I also feel like maybe I shouldn't push myself right away. No, I yeah, no just... don't do that. Maybe rest first. Uh, perhaps make sure to keep moving things, you know, like mm. scrunching your toes every now and again, or 
whatever. Just keep the blood circulating around. Can you fly? Yeah. Have you tried? Have you fought really hard? What? I, um, I, I, you see like lots of confusion across and like the mouth moving, even though I know I'm not going to add any sound like that. And then you see me close my eyes and like squint and it looks like I'm thinking really hard. And no, then I just no like flying. shoulder slump and just <laughs> nod no. No flying. Okay. I just think face. Just checking. Yeah. Seems like hmm. dying isn't really worth it. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. zero out of ten. Wouldn't recommend. I mean, I've been there. I didn't learn to fly, but you were dead a bit longer than me, so. Ah, uh, sure. Hey, that's a thing we have in common now. Death? Yeah. I think that's the thing that most of the party has in common. Yeah. At this point, everyone's died. That's a depressing. Actually, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, I don't maybe think we I should. Have. Maybe we should change. It. Maybe that should be part of our group name. Not that I, you know, I still think ragtag fuckwits is pretty funny. But maybe it should be something like, like <laughs> the 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 death the, the walkers. Now nah, that's emo. I don't know something with death in it because we we death kind of defiant. tell death the fuck up. Ooh, I like that. I I just point as Kess says that and point at Kess. Death defiers. Hmm. Fuck you, death. <laughs> what and and plus who doesn't love alliteration am i right yeah double d we're not being double d's yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. i wasn't gonna double bring it up but you did <laughs> I that way we, get, we simultaneously that way we simultaneously have a really cool like the death device but then we also have a mimi lol i mean the last one heroes of exile was the hose for sure it's this one the death of affairs becomes the double d we're well, not that big a party sort of sexual okay. innuendo <laughs> to our name and our initials i mean i am pretty big <laughs> what party is it? Oh well. I take out my journal and I flip to the page where I had possible group names and I add the death defiers to it. And then while I'm flipping through it, double D's. And then while I'm flipping through it, uh you see me hesitate quickly. Before before I start to flip to that page, I opened it to the most recent page, and there was a quick hesitation and a little bit of a like quick blinking, and then I flip to the page and write it down. I mean we just killed like some major general of hell you know can we not draw something cool from that like devil do we really want to be associated murderers. with hell murderers devil life enders <laughs> but we do more than kill devils we, we kill right, a lot of things Whereas every yeah, time we do anything something. that we do, we're defying death, because most people would die. And sometimes we do too. But then we come back. But we don't. We, we do, we just come back. People. Death is temporary, <clears throat> and the fuckwits are forever. <laughs> That's yeah. our motto. And our name is the Death Defiers. No, it's the fuckwits. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer Death Defiers. Death defiers. <laughs> Come on, that sounds cool. Uh, I think ragtag fuckwits has grown on me. It's like about. A <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> fuckwits, we sort of we set the expectations low. You know, if someone is, yeah. oh, the fuckwits are coming, they're like, oh, no big deal, and then we show up, <laughs> and suddenly we're the death defiers, <laughs> and suddenly oh, it's the fucking <laughs> devil murderers, you know. Slayer of battles, slayers of battles of fun. I'll ask Brooks when he comes back. Fuck defiers. Sorry. Battles of fun <laughs> buddies. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Definitely. Where Brooks. is Brooks? Oh, friends. It's been a while. Soaking. Probably Dude, soaking. he is moisturized. He is in his lane. And he's having a good old Mormon soak over there. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Soak out. The old no, soak and not stroke. that kind of soaking. Excuse me. No. Oh, God, <laughs> Excuse me. I haven't had a wang in right three there. stinking days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. August three days of his life. Um, <laughs> is there anything you guys wish to do before uh, you retire oh. for the night? I'm going to ask the group. So what's the plan now? The 
the the tooth or the crown or Brooks? I think, I, what's I think, the plan? I think we're going to Stonefall for the we'll to get rid of the tooth. Well, I, like we now, should get the I don't crown. want to think about anything that we have to do ever. <laughs> okay. Ever again. Okay. We can get our payment from Damrath on the way. Didn't we say we were going to get paid for doing the thing? Yes, and I think now, I, at least I demand a raise. It was I 10, agree. Platinum. She's my demand. <laughs> TM Mom. says what? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, sorry, 20,000 Platinum, my bad. <laughs> I'm tr we're trying to build a spaceship here, TM, okay? You're trying to build a spaceship. <laughs> I, let's just not think about it until tomorrow. Okay. And I'll get up, and I'll go outside, and I will sit on the lawn, and I will look up at the. Is it dark yet? Yeah, at this point. Mm. Yeah. Sun has I'll set. look up at the stars. Moon is, moon is up. And I'll look at all the constellations, and I'll think really hard about Celestia and try and make some kind of celestial communication. Star wankers. Can we see <laughs> Celestia's like constellation? <laughs> I hate you. Uh, if you want to go out and check. Yeah. No, Celestia's constellation blinked around the fucking new world. Well, we don't know if we can see it from here, though, too. No. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. Um, actually. Uh, make a perception check. So I'm gonna roll some shit. Hey, I'm out there as well. Yeah, but you didn't ask to see it. Fuck. True. Uh, oh, I rolled really I rolled good, like too. Piss, anyway. Uh, 23. Uh, as you look. <clears throat> Um, you see a lot of stars, um, a lot of constellations, but you're not too sure if you see the one uh, that you're specifically looking for. <laughs> All right. What was um, um what was uh, Bilbo's book called? Bilbo. Well, the Bilbo? Journey. What, what was that, Quibba? The unexpected journey. Wow, an unexpected journey. Was there like a subtitle to it? Wasn't it there and back again? No, that's Frodo. Yeah, yeah, there, right. there, it's there back again. Isn't that, oh, was there and back again Frodo's book? book? No, I, I, no, Bill no, Bill no, Bill Bill book. No, he end. Yeah, he finishes writing. Right, right. right. Because I was just thinking. You're in your your wings, y'all. Sorry, sorry. The hell and back again would be a good, uh, a good Davy and Briar book. I'm just saying. The Davy and Briar story. <laughs> um, I will, uh... When you're always a bard, even when you're not. <laughs> I will get hold of a Lazarin. Um, <clears throat> a Lazarin, hey, I you suppose you've got. Hmm? Lazarin's passed the fuck out, by the way. <laughs> Elijah. Elijah. And like, Elijah. so what I've been doing for this time <laughs> is you'd, I would have gone to a thing of Joaquin if there was a if there was an altar mm -hmm. there if not whatever the closest thing is I will put like five gold fucking hell uh, cheapskate man if I worship the god of sex drugs and robbery I know I'd, I know I'd be picking on <laughs> right <laughs> um <coughs> on there and I'm just gonna be sucking, praying to Joaquin and drinking a fuckload of wine and passing the fuck out just in front of there. Definitely not smashing the bottle, just fucking bread wine underneath me. It's not that bad. It smells like the last like art reflects life. Yeah. No, just I'm part. Oh. Yes. Part. Oh. I, I need you back. to send a message to uh, Agrand. Uh, hmm. Well, like right now. Yeah. <laughs> about that. Right. <laughs> sort of, sort of tapped out from the hells. You know. Don't. Not much good to be alive, are you, boy? I mean, currently not. It has been a long two days. Sort of. Oh, just, I had to use my last, just, uh, last bit of everything to keep us alive at the end there against the Lich, so you know. <laughs> well, alright, no, no, it's alright. Tomorrow morning I can do it for you, straight away. First thing in the morning, I can send a message for you. Oh, uh, well, no, you know, I'm sure Marcus could do it for me right now, so I'll just go find Marcus. And... Okay, have fun with that. 
I'm sure there's plenty of clerics here who could do it for you. Right now. We are in Cleric's Refuge, for example. Yeah. I suppose that's become more and more clear over the last few days. Just, you know... Well, that I'm not the only cleric here. Yes, yeah, funny enough, I'm funny enough. I'm not exactly a master cleric, Davian. Yeah, yeah. You're a master of something, though. Hey, <laughs> you don't see it. Hmm. I I'm a fucking, master. I, 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 I'm this man has berated the shit out of me, but just fucking no. A master, and a master just like... friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, sit, I sit down with him. I'm just like. And I drink some wine with him. And, uh, also, uh, it's good to be back. Yeah. And before we go to bed, I also want to find Jax before before everybody goes. Oh to shit! Sleep. She read the journal. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's why she falls, idiot. Uh, uh, Do you want this to be a deafen? The rest? No, it doesn't have to. Unless okay. ja unless Soko does. I don't think so. That's fine. Oh. So yeah, just you hear a knock. Oh no, we're all sharing a room, yeah, right? We're we're room. We're just all here anyways. Then you're all there anyway, literally. Okay, well, um, unless like Brooks is still gone, or if this is, or if anyone's like out, but otherwise, whoever's well, in the room I mean, right me before. Well, I mean, uh, some sort of ultra volcano or whatever. Where I mean, I would yeah. probably stumble back if. Well, then, in that case, it's probably only Kess there. that's there with but... me, unless Brooks has come back. At some point, does the cleric turn up and be like, "Man, you gotta move." <laughs> we gotta replace the water now, dude. And at some point, yeah, you'll have to like get out. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to get the. They, fuck they out. come and kick me and make sure I'm not dead. <laughs> no, they come and make sure. Yeah. Like, are you okay? And they're like, "Oh, uh, I'm supposed to leave." Clean. I'm kind of supposed to clean this before. <laughs> Half drowning in it. Is that complimentary dressing gel? Sure, man. <laughs> What Brooks does it say is this whole time he's been lying in the bath, he's been lying face down. <laughs> he's dead. He absolutely <laughs> he died. All right. Well, in that case, it's, it's probably then Brooks and Cass are the ones in the room. Brooks um, is dripping wet. Yeah. So I, I I just go over to Jax and like, I, I, if he's doing something, I'll like tap him on the shoulder. But if he's not, then I'll just walk over, and I'm just gonna take out my journal and open it to what he wrote. And then underneath it, uh, uh, I've added uh, to it and wrote, it just says, um, thank, it says, thank you. This is really sweet. And I will do my best to live up to that reputation. And I give him a hug. No. And the, for the, uh, the, where it says that reputation, there's a line like drawn pointing to, the second line of his entry. Um, it just kind of breaks into tears. No. Uh, uh, hmm. And then also, right, uh, it said, I'm sure she was really lovely. You're really trying to maybe sob on cam, huh? <laughs> Please do. Fuck, no. <laughs> and if anyone <sighs> wants to know what, I me mean, for viewers, the journal's up on World Anvil. <clears throat> Go check out our World Anvil. Just we also that. talked about it in Discourse, too. Yeah. <laughs> we did talk about it in this course, yeah? Yeah, we did. Fuck, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's nothing to live up to. It's already done. And then I'll uh, write on a separate page. Um, whatever project we work on next, I'm excited. I, I would love to have your help. Always. <laughs> and then I'll go get ready for bed, get my meerkat out, and like... Pull, roll out bed roll. Oh, no, there's probably a bed bed here. Where there's a bed staying. bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just get cozy in wherever my have bed like a dorm. is. Yeah, like a like a hostel, like a group room. Rat party. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Bed. Kind of, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Anything anyone wants to do before they go night night? No, I'm gonna um... meditate for four hours and then I'm gonna immediately go in my vessel. Okay. That's about it. Fucker. 
and run away. <laughs> Fly away from Bangor Airways. Uh, in that case, when night comes, you all um, very, very Get a long fast rest. fall asleep, <clears throat> long rest and whatnot. Uh, I would like everyone to death him besides Laura, please. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh oh. I'm just writing something in my yeah, notes, no but I am no listening. Um, <clears throat> as you go to sleep, uh, you still feel very hazy. Very, do very... I need to sleep? No. Like, do I try? Do I just, you try, like, toss the and turn? And I'm just you like, don't I can't sleep. Sleep. Um, you have this weird feeling of, of not being entirely in control of your, of your body. Mm -hmm. And a part of your mind... It's not like an active thing, but very passively, you almost you catch yourself doing it a couple times. It's like you're making sure that you know where Kess's vessel is at all times. It's just like this, like very subconscious thing of like, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. Oh, Maybe oh, when when we wake up, whenever Kess pops out of it, she probably sees me holding it, and I, I'm clutching it with the meerkat. Because I have like the sound like yeah must hold yeah. it must protect uh, that, it. That, if that not... that could be something, yeah. I mean, if if yeah, yeah. I feel like I just would subconsciously just yeah go yeah. pick it up and be holding uh, it. But yeah, it feels it feels weird. Like the food didn't really taste that great to you. Um, you don't sleep, but you also don't feel tired. You just it's it's weird. It's very strange. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Pretty much it for now, really. Okay. So Kohler! Oh, so Kohler and Ethan! Mm -hmm. Oh, is it just those Ethan two? Ethan and Soko right, well, and Ethan. Oh. I need to pay attention. Okay, we're good. Uh, morning comes. You Guess all... is the first person who wakes up, right? Because she sleeps so less than everyone. Room. Right. Yes, Guess uh, when you wake up, you you see me holding my meerkat, but I'm also holding your vessel. So I have to go grab that then to disappear yeah. into it. Well, no, that not would, to that disappear would, into you it. You're already in it, it when you come like, out. Like when, oh, when, when I come out. Yeah. When you come okay. out, you see me yeah. like holding it. Rest of you, you all wake and up. I, and you, I you, wave. See, you see. I'm awake. <clears throat> you see Daigon kind of like clutching. Uh, both the Mirkan and Kess's vessel. Um, and whenever Kess pops out, you also notice that, like, you're very close and personal with Daigon all of a sudden, which is something you didn't necessarily <laughs> expect. Hello! <laughs> and I'll hand it back to you when you wake up. Or, well, not wake up, when you come out of when it. I'm out. Here you go. <laughs> but, um, morning is here. Definitely had a bit of a sleep in. Um, Can I talk to Blue while I'm in the vessel? Oh, yeah, no, of course. Would you like us to deafen while you talk to Blue? Yeah. Okay. Nah, it's, it's only mild plotting against us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, but, but during your time in the vessel, uh, yeah, Blue will, will have been there and what's going on? Uh, Dagon's back. Good. Very good. I'm confused, though. See, always. in... No. Mm. During, in, in, when the ritual was going on, the vessel like glowed and floated for a bit. Okay. Why? I don't know. Why do you not know? You're supposed to know. It's like your whole thing. Kind of. Let me look at know. it. Let me let me look at it. Come here. Okay. Like, what I like to imagine... Does she have a version of it in there with is her Is that, well? like... Yeah. For, for for that, there's, like... You, you always have, like, the vessel around your neck. Uh, it's it's it, it kind of, like, exists in two places. Like, in two places, places at, at once, once yeah. kind of thing. Mm. It kind of looks it over. Who's breathing into their fucking mic right now? Quibble? Oh, Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm having to mouth breathe because my nose is like. Oh, 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 oh God! Yo, you know, Mike, this was just picking every bit of it up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right. Um, he kind of grabs it and looks at it. Can I get everyone to deafen real quick? Yes! <laughs> All right. Son of a even beast. me? Uh, I guess even Laura me? doesn't have to, no. <laughs> he looks it over and... Have you done anything with this recently? Done anything with it? Yeah. I don't think so. Um, there's some traces of energy that I don't recognize. Huh? Yeah. Hence the question. Have right. you done anything with this thing recently that I should know about? No. Have I? You said it I don't started think so. glowing? Yeah. When you brought your friend back? Yeah. But your friend is back. Yeah, I mean, she says food tastes bland, and she felt super heavy, but she's back. You're sure she's back? What what does that mean? Well you <clears throat> Have you checked to see if um Okay. There's a lot of options here, right? Mm -hmm. Could be some evil creature inhabiting your friend's body, pretending to be her, um, trying to con you. Although the chances of that happening right as you were attempting a resurrection ritual seems very small, but it is impossible. Um, there's other things as well. Um, it's, uh, just um, make sure that that's your friend. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really, don't really have experience with resurrections in general. Among our people, that stuff tends to not really be necessary. But um, you have a cleric with you, right? Yeah. Someone who could recognize, you know, fiends and whatnot. I mean, I can recognize fiends. Oh well, just uh. I have a spell for that. Maybe give that a. Better try. Oh no. Just in case. There's a very right. small chance, but. Okay, I will try that. Damn it. Okay. I will leave. Alright. And then you see Daigon clutching your vessel, giving you a wave. <clears throat> I'm uh, gonna use the bell branch okay. uh, to look for uh, to detect aberrations, celestials, constructs, elementals, fey fiends, or undead. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, no. Uh, does it give you, like, a range or a, a, an exact location? Or does it just say, oh, yeah, there's something within this, like, within 60 feet? I think it gives locations. I don't know. Let me check. Oh, crap. Does. Double check that for Digan's me. Digan's a zombie. Digan's <laughs> a zombie. Uh, or is she something worse? Okay. Oh, I get, I get, like, one of the bells rings softly to indicate that the creature type is present. It that it's present you... within 60 feet of you. Yeah, within 60 feet. Does it penetrate walls? Yes. Oh, There's wait, no. So 60 feet that cover. you can see. That I can see. If okay. the don't such creatures are present cover. and don't have total cover from you. Okay. One bell chimes. Ah! Does it tell you what type? <laughs> sure it is. 
all it tells you is it like the spell like detect detect whatever where it just tells uh, you one of those types is present it just says if such like creatures are present the bell yeah. is oh, it doesn't so specify it's just what... so like it could be aberration could be undead could be a fiend could be yeah. whatever their tone know. indicating the creature types present oh dragon could be an angel so the bells ring but the noise they make tells her what creature uh... type oh in that case um oh, undead Oh. oh my god, she's the Mercer Ghost class. Hey, uh, Dagon. Yeah? Oh no. The potential, uh... Oh, no. Weird question. Do you remember that job we had in Port Ruin where we had to escort that dude? The weird is this... Cut? I was like, is... Backstory. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of, right? The one we had the dumb nickname of, like, the guy we had the nickname for, yes. he had that really annoying-ass voice. God, he was insufferable. Yes. Okay. Do you, do you remember what the nickname was? I would. Laura doesn't. That's a Laura problem. <laughs> uh, we called, it was something really juvenile, like, ass face. Yeah, it, was like, it wasn't clever. Bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because okay. his name was, like, something bridge, that had, and we named him Assbridge instead. Like, yeah. <laughs> Almost like Iron Deck and Iron Dick. Yeah, very <laughs> similar. <laughs> Hmm. Yes, okay. like the the common theme to all, the is the common theme to all of these dumb names. Yes. Yes, I am. I think I did actually come up with that name as well. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what this is in reference to. I'll just be like, I haven't thought about that in a while. Yeah. That was a funny. That guy was a dick. Oh, he was so whiny. God. I okay. Like, news. Oh, it and, is uh, you. <laughs> What's the news? Huh? What? Uh, something went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think is we this... need to talk to the clerics. Is this signed? No, this isn't. Just my responses are. Just... Just you just hit you just hit it. You just hit Pesco. Something went wrong. We need to talk to the clerics. Yeah. Go wake up. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Are we all awake oh, at this what, point? What went wrong? Yeah, yeah. Go quickly. Just hit that tickle and respond. Well, the good news is that Daigon is Daigon and not a fiend. Okay. I, I just news. I just give a confused look at Kes, but I don't like say anything. Just like the fuck. Bad news is that she is undead. <laughs> Oh, I start, like, I start like looking at myself. I'm like, what? And that there I'm was sorry. like a weird energy attached to my vessel. Um, that has something to do with it. That As Bess says it. that, you see like the color kind of drain from my skin a little bit, and my eyes kind of go wide. And I just look at Kess, and I have a real like, like, you know, like that, like right before you have a panic attack kind of face. And I just like look at her. And I'm like, I sign, I can't, I can't summon my arms. Remember my, my spectral arms, they're gone. I can't do it. And, and you see me just like, look like, again, almost like what I thought when D Davian's joke, like, can you fly? And I was like, joke concentrating. You see now me like really trying hard to concentrate. I get in like a, a meditation pose and I can't summon. The bracelets you had to be attuned to by a monk specifically, right? Yes. Yeah, that connection is also gone. Yep. Mm. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> and you just see now I'm looking real. I like I have that look of like, all right, all right, just it's just fine. Breathe. Like I, we don't just wait till we find out. But I'm now it looks like I'm having trouble holding it together. I go, I'm kind of panicking. Me, give me five. Just give me like five or ten minutes. Okay, just give me a second. And I start fucking praying to Joaquin. And I'm change my fucking spell list. <laughs> all right, something's what can happen. I'm fucking because it's still. All right, listen. Before me everyone falls apart completely, let's all just be appreciative of the fact that Dargan is here and is herself. Not a fiend. I Not will. Not a fiend. That's weird. Yes. Specific, but like, just she's here. She's back. She's with us. You know. Things might be a bit different. You right see now. me get up, and I, I go over to 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 Brooks, and I tap on Brooks, and I gesture like I get in a defensive stance, and get in a like want to fight like pose, and like tilt head. I immediately get between them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 no. And I get out my book, and I mean, I just, 
I'm friendly spar. I want to see my arms don't work. I want to see if I still remember how to 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 move to fight. I won't hurt him. If that's oh. not the way I'm not worried about you hurting him. I just don't think you're probably in the best state to be trying to fight anybody. All right, I'm not gonna be angry about like just try and hit me. All right, and I'll try and do um one of my not so much like the more I was punch like one of the more dexy things like maybe like one of the, like the spin kicks or something that I used to do. And yeah, uh, roll an eleven. Definitely not. I'm as, assuming doesn't uh, hit. Definitely not as technical with your uh, move as you once was. Much once more wore. wobbly, much less graceful. Listen, well, you just came back from, you know, the wrong side of life. So, I don't think you can fully expect to be right as rain. I mean, I'm gonna sort of just wave my hand and start to walk away. And then I'm going to pick up the nearest object and throw it at Daigon. Make, make an attack. Uh, Two what seconds. What do you want me to add? Just dexterity? Uh, like, yeah, like a ranged weapon attack, I guess, or dex. 17. If I get proficiency, it's 20. That hits. Uh, give me two seconds. From, from, what, from, from what little notes I have so far, Dutch, it it hits. I still feel it. Yeah, yeah it's just kind of like the way it works is. Yeah. It's like. She... <laughs> it's kind of. I know, I know exactly what happened. It doesn't damage you, but it damaged the body you're in. I know. So Daigon's uh, mm -hmm. so Daigon's hit points do drop, but your we just took a long rest. Yeah, she's but bound. oh, this is he's bound oh. to the vessel. Okay, she's so bound I to the vessel. so you see me like I look at where the object hit, and I kind of like well, and I'm like, and I signed a cast. I definitely felt Wait, that, what? but I think mm -hmm. it should have hurt more. And I also look like I'm starting to panic again. I'm gonna. You're supposed to catch it. I'm oh. gonna leave the room and Try just again. start yelling. <laughs> no deflect, no start deflect start missiles yelling. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So what? What's we saying is going wrong here? What? I mean, I'm going to leave the room and start yelling for the cleric, cleric out. The, the fa father out, the one that <laughs> helps Alt. with the resurrection. Yeah, father out. He comes and he's still, he's yeah. like, yeah. Father yeah. Alt is dressed in this, like, still, like, nightgown. How far out of the room does she Large, go? pointy, like, hat on his head. Like, this very, like. Does have a little ball on the end? Like, the little ball, the little fluffy ball. Yeah. Oh, my God. How Come, far away did Cass go? Just, dressed, like, outside like, the school. hallway? Not, like, far. Yeah. Not far. Yelling, but is she, like, okay. yelling? Like, ah. Yeah, she's yelling. She's. Takes a few minutes, but eventually <laughs> you hear some, like, shuffling, you know, and he's wearing these, like, fluffy slippers and everything. <gasps> what? What's going Something's on? wrong. She's undead. We, can we maybe use a different your pardon? word? That's really and he just like he comes comes language. running into <laughs> in, into the room. What? What? Huh? What? What? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? <undead? laughs> Who's that? What's going on? So so Dagon is undead. There's oh! a weird energy attached to my vessel. Something went wrong. But it is her. I just really weakly wave. Oh. Is this a Resurrection happened. This <laughs> she is... You verified this the, the, This is your friend? Yes. Like, you, you asked some questions and only she, she would know and, 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 and that? Yes. Curious. You said your... Nicholas... Did something... Mm. Yeah, it's it's got a weird energy that Okay. Was not recognized. I have a theory. I, oh no. That it's a demon. A dancing demon is I'm sorry. Your necklace. Buffy reference. Couldn't help it. Mm-hmm. Could you hand it to me? I promise I'll give it back to you. I will give it to him. Hesitantly. 
There is an involuntary, like, twitch from Daigin when you give I'm it to I'm going to leave the room with this. What? But give one minute. I'll bring it back. Okay. I, I promise. Just... What? what? I'd like to know. And he begins to shuffle out the room. So how far does he go, Dutch? And he goes <laughs> far enough away for Daigon's body to suddenly go limp. Yep, there okay. it is. Okay. And he casts... Um, <clears throat> what's that spell that lets you see fucking... See invisibility? Team visibility. Is that the one that lets you look into the fucking, you know, like material plane? plane? Hell yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 So he, he yeah, casts that and he looks and he looks at you, Daigon. Right so next to So all of a sudden, him. my vision jumps from in the room with my friends yeah. to I'm outside with him he now. Looks, he looks at you and it's. Just wide eyes. Looks down. And brings comes back oh, into the room. No. Hands back the vessel to Kess. So, um, sometimes. He's oh. also hearing just distracted panicking, and he can see me now trying to get back into the Dagon body, and he's trying to talk to them while he can see and hear yeah. this. Yeah, eventually, like, like if, you, if that's something you want to do, Freaking like, you, you pop back into yeah. Dagon's body, no problem. Yeah, it takes a minute, because yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but at um, some point while he's talking, you just see my body kind of jump up again, and, like, I breathe again. So sometimes, um, when attempting to resurrect someone, especially someone that requires a bit more of an advanced ritual to be performed, sometimes the will of uh, the person to want to come back is strong enough, but their either mental or physical um, state health wasn't strong enough. Causing to split the soul from the body. So your friend is here, her soul is here. It's just, it's lingering. And I'm guessing the reason why. I just why kind of start to like gently rock a bit back and forth while the he's reason talking. reason why your necklace did the thing is because I suppose in the rush. Dagon's soul anchored itself to the vessel, which means that she'll have to be within approximately 150 feet of it at all times, or else what just happened will, will happen. The soul will be transported to the vessel, or to within the range of the vessel it needs to be in. So if her body, the body that she at that moment inhabits, leaves that space, it'll just kind of, you know, go limp. <laughs> so she's the reason why lingering souls exist is because there's clearly some form of unfinished business that her soul wanted to, wants to see through to the end but I suppose maybe her either she wasn't strong enough to come back intact instead the soul just came but wasn't able to tether itself back to her original body and now it just kind of lingers how do we fix it? Well, if we can. I mean, if you wouldn't happen to have a wish on hand, would you? Probably not. So until then, this is kind of what it is. She, oh, she's guys. here and she... She'll probably not be able to do the things she was able to do back then. Um, but she'll... Well, it comes with some other tricks, I suppose. Like, possession, as you can clearly tell. Um, and, and, and other things. Um, so, she's here. Spirit, all her memories intact. And I mean, now that she's technically inhabiting... Her old body, her body's here as well. It's just... I don't know how well... How long it'll last. Because, you know, it is a dead body after all, so it might start to... Unless, I suppose... 
I suppose you could, um... Fuck, what's the spell called again, Koiba? Gentle Repose. I suppose you could just gentle repose it every, every, you know, to kind of prevent the body from decaying, but... I think I'd rather <laughs> hang out with just a ghost than a... Sorry, so... Bod just <laughs> We just have a ghost friend. Right. Yes. I I went from the rocking and the nervous looking when he said she can't do like what she used to do. Uh, I went very still, and now I'm just like looking at the floor with like that kind of thousand yard stare. Like I'm looking past the floor and just like. When she's still. not possessing a body, does she have a physical manifestation that still a spirit so exists? Is fine. It's spirit. A spirit. So not and everyone will. I'll be. You know, I I can see it if I. Use magic, which I assume you might be able to as well in that case, uh, given that you're also. Oh, what's it? What into the ethereal plane or? Yes. Right. So, um, her spirit will is here and tethered to the vessel. So wherever the vessel is, her spirit will be, um, whether it's in a body or not. But when it's not in a body, can it still? Like, are we going to have to get bodies of this for her now? Um, unless you find a way to, you know, keep the body she's currently in intact. Do they have to be dead bodies? It was just Dagon's uh, choice. Dagon doesn't have well, to. Well, I mean, into... possessions um, can be done uh, uh, when Nine strong enough. Away. She might be able to possess people while they're still alive, but I don't think that will last very long. But other than oh, that, I, I'm just vehemently shaking my head no whenever he talks but about as far as, possessing you know, others. If the body, you know, doesn't have a soul in it to inhabit it, you know, she can remain in there as long as the body doesn't decompose right from under her, you know. And it all happened because her physical body was not healthy enough. Excuse me. Like that, that that's the reason why her soul split. I that, don't yeah, I don't know exactly. It could just be bench. that the, 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 the her want, her drive, her will to be back was there, but perhaps too tired from of, of the arduous fight or making it so that in the return due to that exhaustion or whatever other reason, uh, the soul and body weren't linked back together and instead in a panic the soul decided I need something to tether myself to and your necklace was chosen I, I just signed a kiss I mean my my joke about two down seven to go like I kind of been on borrowed time for a while I guess so I, I don't that know sucks. exactly this is a very rare occurrence and only found, I've only witnessed one other case of this, and they didn't, well, the, the, the way they found out was when about a week after the resurrection happened, uh, suddenly decomposition became very apparent, and uh, that's how they found out, so at least it's that. But I, I, as far as I'm aware, it's, she's back, just, you know, she's back. Asterisk, I suppose. Asterisk. What happens when she fulfills Asterisk. what she wanted to do? That I do not know. What is it she wants to do? Is well, I would assume it's fine to... I don't know. Yeah. Something... Whether it is... It could be something as simple as helping you fulfill whatever it is you need to fulfill, or it could be something more personal. I don't know. That's something that she's going to have to dig deep in her own conscience to figure out, but until then, I, I know it's weird, but she is back. This is your friend. It's just, uh, she, um, the, 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 you know, physically comes with a bit more complications, but I mean, she is back. We just, as long as we have a Lazarin keep topping you up. Well, do you, do you, do you, you are adventurous, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so you get in fights a lot? Yes. Yes. Okay, More well, than we'd like. Um, it's complicated. 
but as long as you keep the body intact, it'll be fine. But uh, there's also the thing of, you know, any combat prowess that she may have had as whatever she was, uh, you know, the fighter, archer, whatever it is she did, um, is replaced by some newfound abilities. And there's no possibility that through some other ritual or spell we can properly put her soul back. Well, not that I have access to. You're talking about a wish or a true resurrection or something like that. It's powerful magic that only a select few people possess. I mean, oh. you already got her halfway there. It seems like this should be the easy part, no? As as they're talking, just to see, so I start trying to get control. I, you see me again, close my eyes and focus. And you see Daigon's body again, kind of go limp. And this time you see the spectral version uh, floating there. Because apparently I have a ghostly form and I give mm. off a glow equal to dim light for five oh, feet. There so go. there's a glowing, glowing ghostly me you now see. And I look and, and then I sign to Kess. Okay, this is weird. This is kind of cool. Uh, Can you speak as a ghost? Um, Let me check. Ooh, that's interesting. Let me quickly. We're gonna have to work. We're gonna have to Don't workshop this class throughout the week and make it like a little more playable. Gold. But I think because creature type is undead, give off the glow. You can't, can't physically carry. carry. It doesn't say anything about it. I would assume. I'd say. I'd say that you can speak. I say I could speak because the reason I can't speak is because of physical damage to physical yeah. vocal cords. Yeah, I guess. So yeah. you also, also without thinking, I, 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 so I signed that, and then you see me kind of pause and go, "Wait a minute!" And again, you hear Ooh. the actual Daigon voice, which again says that really deep, rich, resonant the voice, like inspired by the actress Shorei Agdashlu, if anyone knows who she is. So you hear that, you hear that voice. We go, "Wait a minute." Okay, this part's convenient. This fixes <laughs> one of the problem. And I look excited for a minute, and then I look back at my body on the ground, and then the excitement goes away again. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I'm uh, just, I'm just having a lot of emotions right now, and I'm just that, that's that, going like, through it. Like, so I'm like happy, like, hey, cool. We can see everybody's like, I'm a scared. It's news. It's definitely something. Great, we can communicate with you. I fantastic. Um. But... Yeah. So like, fixing this, I can't do. Like, um, it's possible, but like I said, uh, you, you're a cleric, you'll understand that the means of a true resurrection and whatnot lies beyond the majority of, of, of clerics' power. It's very exceptional if people gain the power to, to cast spells like that. Um, I, sh I certainly don't. Do you don't. know of anyone? No. I no. No one that I know personally, no. So that's our, I guess, our new background find the thing is someone who find can someone who can cast it. pure resurrection. Fine. However, oh, think of all the fucking thought. trouble you can cause like that. Well, mm. as as I as you say that, I I look at a Lazarin and look at my body, and now that I realize I have a physical, I have a visible form that you all can see, and there I. Yo, oh, I mean, I never enjoyed that body. Anyway, if you, it's a lot to ask you every 10 days to be preserving it. I, I don't want to force you to do that. Oh. Should. Choice. And as I say that, I look back at my body and there's just a very big mixture of, like, this, like, resentment and, like, anger and, but also, like, just various negative or sad emotions kind of go over my face. And they're, like, warring over each other. But also, like, this, this hesitation. I, I look very confused. Well, it's I mean... Choice, like, at the end of the day. If you want us to keep Can the body I... around, we will. If you don't, and you want to enjoy your freedom that you now have from it, then you can. We'll support whatever you want to do. 
Maybe if you we find a nice body for you to use for a bit later <laughs> on. I think, oh, that person is quite hot. <laughs> I guess it's a more of a problem that it would probably cause some obstacles wherever we go if you just had this. This, I guess, is even more socially non-acceptable than that was. That's so I guess I should still keep that for a while. Well, can you always can you always make yourself look like how you are, or can you you know just spin to the ethereal plane and then come back if you that worried? People would be understanding. I don't know. I need to. She has to remain I don't know. within. I need to practice. She needs to be remain within 150 feet of the necklace. So definitely. Can she go inside plane. it? Can she go inside it? Can she go into another? Plane, but be near it in if if I, I, I mean, rules, rules, rules as written. She cannot go inside no. it until Kes yeah, ability that's... to invite people into her vessel. That's just kind yeah, of. I'm linked. I'm linked to it as a physical object. Yeah, it's not just a for physical object for her to be grounded on this plane of existence. Like to it me, it's know. just a necklace that I'm attached to. It's not the yeah, vessel, yeah, you exactly. know. Yeah. As I say, it's your choice, Diane. If you want to. My. Body still, but. Is using a big resource. Every day. Every ten days. Oh shit. Uh, that just means we get a vacation day every ten days. My suggestion would be uh, for the sake of functionality that maybe you hang on to it until you find something that you're more comfortable in. It would be nice for you to have a body that you're more comfortable in than you were in this one, but also, like, there's a lot of things we can't do, a lot of experiences you can't have without it. Just where Jax starts making a Warforged body for a oh, assault. Oh my <laughs> god. Dude, yeah. stop reading yeah. my brain. Stop <laughs> getting inside my brain. <laughs> I, I, could be, I have God. definitely not Still been looking up this whole time different ways to do this. So it's like Prezi was gone, but now I'm still <laughs> Robo <laughs> Dagon. Robo Dagon. Still doesn't Let's have it. <laughs> library, bro. I gotta do some. I gotta do some. That just—I don't know. That idea just popped up. Like, wait, I guess Warforge don't decompose. Therefore, that could that could therefore, be, if, and they're creatures. Therefore, you can possess it. So. Well, and if I could track her soul there, then she'd actually technically be have her Dude, own body, be I'm able to become, do her own things. I'm gonna, gonna become full metal alchemist. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> he's gonna full metal alchemist. You. I'm the full metal alchemist. <laughs> Dog's daughter. Don't That's I mean, that okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Hon honestly, not a duck. <laughs> honestly, don't. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, we will do our best to accommodate and be supportive. But I mean, this is kind of overwhelming right now. I I need. I don't know. I need to figure it out. I think. I think there were a lot of experiences that you were already held back from, and I would not like to see you held back from more or different ones, because you now, you know, you decide you don't want this body, and then two weeks down the road realize there's something you can't do without it. So maybe it's worth holding on to until we find a better solution. Uh, do we know what, like thing is keeping you tethered here. I point to the vessel. Well, no, like, uh, uh, Father Oz was saying that oh. there's, like, a, a mission of sorts. Like a reason. Oh, well, I mean, that could uh. either, that could be something very specific, or just the general wanting to make sure your f her friends are okay until they're done with their business, or whatever you were doing. I, that's something that she's going to have to dig deep and find out for herself first, I think. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. In the meantime, I suppose this is this all unconventional, but this is your friend. She is back, and so, so you know, try and take that at face value at least. And you're very chill about this for a religious person. Uh, I appreciate it. I've seen this happen only once before, but I've seen it before, so I'm I'm a little um. It's a lot better to find out this way than to wake up one day next to your partner who is just rotting in your bed. You know? Yeah, thank god I'm really smart. Mm. Wait. 
Mm-hmm. What did you know? I don't know if I want to dig into that kind of Oh. Words. Hey. How, how did I know? Yeah. That kind of makes sense, actually. Well, it seemed odd that my vessel glowed during the resurrection since it had nothing to do with it, and then she was saying that food That's tasted That's why bland. things tasted like nothing. Her body felt really heavy, and that seemed a bit odd if she was truly back. So also, I, I was going to say, the one thing that felt better coming back, my head fe- feels a lot more clear. There was... I, I was... There was something going on before... I'm not- I died. It was weird. I knew it. I told well, we you. We figured out how to uncurse her voice. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was like that. Uh, it was that, like, that madness is gone. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, the, the, there's one positive to this, guys. <laughs> it was. Did I mark down the day? Was I? The positive is the day was really dead. Hold on. Hold on. I did. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like that was. When did that happen again? That was like uh, the third of Septimon. That happened ten days ago. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's been ten days. And yeah, right. Lunatic. Yeah, it's like well, it's, it's like oh for the God. last week and a half or so. It was just like was that, was that a Ravenloft thing when we were? Fighting? Yeah, no, it was the golem. That was the, was was the golem monster thing. we fought. It was when I wasn't there. The oh, golem true. Yeah, thing. when I was playing Dagon and Dutch was like, yeah. So by the way, yeah, was, like, Dagon finds. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. 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 So in in characters, it's like it's like the last week and a half or so. It was just like. The the more serious something was, or like the shittier things got, the funnier <laughs> they were. I told you in my head, said, like it was weird. I said to Brooks that you were laughing when I died, and he was like, "Oh, you should talk." To I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, ha- this is my fault. Absolutely. How dare I tell you to talk to your fucking friend instead of Look, let's not get into that now. I- <laughs> Any more questions for me, or can I, re- you know, retract myself from this domestic? Um, she could have just been straight up bound to Cass, which would have been funny. Well, you, see, you said you saw this once before. Yes. Yeah, but as a creature rather than as an object. It didn't mm. happen to someone close to you. Father, well, do you have any spells that could make me not have to deal with this? <laughs> We're having a conversation. Uh, what was that? Sorry. It, what, did it happen to someone close to you? Uh, no, just somebody uh, came here, told me the story, and uh, did a lot of research and figured out what it was, and they <sighs> don't really know what happened to them, to be honest. I haven't seen them since, so. Uh, do you remember who it was? No, uh, this, is, this was 20 years ago or something. I... I might have some, I might have some letters somewhere. Uh, some letters got sent to and from the but the, why? Uh, well, it might be nice to track them down and maybe gain some more insight. I already what breached whatever patient confidentiality thing I had going on by telling you this, so I will not be sending you that way if that's what you're what you're asking. No, oh, man. Fair enough. I hate laws. It's yeah, not, not necessarily lords. law, it's more of a, you know. It's, it's even thing. worse. It's morals. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, um, try to take don't. solace in the fact that your friend is back. I'm sure with time, it becomes a little easier to deal with, and, and maybe you'll find a workaround some way. But for now, I suppose, just try and enjoy the fact that she's back and, you know, take it for what it is, I suppose. Well. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for your help. Mm. Uh, it's no problem. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're, f- um, you're fine. D- do we owe you anything for the ritual? Uh, no, I'll, Mark is an old student of mine, and it's fine, and if anything, I'll, I'll just settle whatever debts there are with him. Don't worry. I just signed to Kess, even though I know I can talk now, still sign, hoping he doesn't know sign language. I mean, I better hope we're not paying him, for all we know, he fucked it up, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Laura's the one that actively made this choice. Or did the dice we rolled make the goodest choice? Which one of you motherfuckers rolled a one? All of the above. I didn't roll a one. 
all of the above is your answer. How how can you can you fly now if you're a ghost? I have a. I think I can. Hold. As Holding. The, uh, Where's my movement speed? Wait, can you make bodies you, fly? Uh, if you're a ghost, you, do you sleep? No, as you say that, okay. uh, as, uh, as as Damn. Brooke said that, I just like think and I go, actually, I didn't sleep at all last night. So we that don't have to take watches sense. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> we have a I can just stay oh, awake, wow. and I'll sit with you for like half of it. <laughs> uh, wow. My creature type. Uh, Why does it doesn't it give me? Hours. It gives me a falling speed. That is what I have. Maybe it's so based I on the body I'm you're in. If I'm in a body, it's the body. But when I'm a goat, when I'm a ghost, because as you can, you fall at a rate of sixty feet per round, but do not suffer fall damage. Because I be you, a ghost. Uh, you gain fly at tenth level. There you go. Oh, I'm not there yet. I can't fly yet. I just kind of hover above the ground, but I can't do more than that. I can't go up. Nah. That's yeah, like well, we'll the, 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 the way the way this class is made by Mr. Mercer, probably gonna have to make some changes here and there to kind of fit better into what we want to do. But like for now, like a stat stats wise and and actual class shit wise. I'll make sure that me and Laura have that all settled and figured out uh, before next session. Yeah, before we have, before next session, I'll make a proper. Has the father left the room yet? Uh, well, yeah. As, he's, as everyone kind of stopped talking, leaving, he left. When he's well, now, when he's leaving, I'm looking at his fucking back, motherfucker. I'm fucking, I'm looking at his back. Looking at his back. <laughs> yeah, he's got a fucking tattoo. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. 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 As soon shoulder? as he's out of earshot. Mm -hmm. Um. Guess. Yeah. You're great at sneaking. Sneaking. Yes. Yeah. Don't tell her she's great at anything. For fuck. Shut no, up. No, Maybe no. be good at stuff. She I was going to say, if you were able to grab the letters from the other patient, we might be able to contact her. Where would those be? No, that I feel like that's personal. <laughs> I feel like that's up to Diagon whether she wants that or not. I, I don't want to invade someone's privacy like that. I guess wants to. Okay. Is it just... Is Maybe it we just can find more this? answers in Darmouth if they have, like, a library. There might be something in there. I, I do need to look in the library for a few things. Is it just corpses you can... I also can? go point to the armbands on my body. Be like, by the way, we should sell these, I guess. We no, can't use well, them. Brooks could use them, no. Oh, sh shit, true, I guess. True, yeah. Do you, do you want I mean, them? I feel like I'm already fairly burdened with magic items. Burdened. Well, be burdened uh, but aren't these very cool? I wouldn't know. I never got to use them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Could you imagine Brooks gets to use them? Like, I'm taking away. a lot of yeah. like, stray <laughs> shots here from Laura's end. <laughs> I feel like I'm being blamed for something that, was, that isn't my that fault. I mean, you are. That, was in character. that wasn't Laura. That was just Diagon right. being like, I was told they do a cool thing and I never had a chance to do the thing. Not the DM. <laughs> right. What's up? It's fine. You're the DM. It's your fault. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Fuck me yourself, coward. <clears throat> August. Anyway, what did you ask, Ethan, Brooke. before we fucking started goofing off? Brooke said to Daigon, oh. Is it just corpses? Like, can you move objects? Can you oh. fuck with people? Um, can you okay. possess us? No, 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 no. I am going to say, well, let's find out. And Brooks, make a charisma saving throw. Oh, he can't. He can. <laughs> He can fail if he wants to. You can voluntarily can choose, choose to, to fail the save, you. or... Yeah. I feel like I want to choose to fail, but I don't know if Brooks would, because he's got no context. I mean, Brooks yeah. asked, this is not what's right? happening to him. Yeah, Brooks or asks you, I don't know, let's find towards. out, and try to fucking possess him. How's he gonna feel about I, that? I, I, fair enough, man. I'm saying, like, you could choose to fail Ma the save if you... Yeah, yeah, make a charisma it save. It doesn't matter, it's a fucking... Seven. <laughs> okay, so uh, you see me float over towards Brooks and seemingly merge into Brooks. So Brooks, you Whoa. you still have autonomy over your body right now. Like if you move, I'm not gonna make you move or anything. 
I like if the host moves, I move with you. I can now see and hear like through you, but you hear my voice in your head go, "Hey." So <laughs> If I think, oh if I think, but don't speak, does Dagon hear it? Uh, plus, yes. you can also uh, a possessed creature acts as normal on its turn. However, you can use your action to force the to possessed force creature them to, to make, make an attack, an attack, or do anything. Right. So you can force so, them to suddenly uh, punch the wall or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so no... I, so you hear in your head, "Hey, can you hear me?" Hey, this is unusual. So I guess the way in combat how it would work is like and if then, you were to possess Brooks in combat, Brooks takes his turn as normal, and then when it's your turn, and then you my just action get, you just is get I can to make him do something, yeah. make Brooks attack something or whatever. Yeah. Okay, That's so now, sick. so now I'm gonna use my action to test now because that was more just passive. So I'm gonna make Brooks, uh, yeah, I'll just make Brooks try and punch a, punch the wall. You can make me dash or dodge as well. You could have yeah, made him. We're in a room. Okay. Actually, yeah. No, I'm, I'm gonna make Brooks just go like this and see if Brooks like hits himself in the forehead. Do I need to roll? No, it's just no, it's just, it's just you're possessed. Like, therefore, she can just force you to do that. Yeah. She's using her action so you, to make you slap. Who, so you just see if, like, if we make if she makes me attack, who rolls? By the way, does she roll or do I roll? Um. Because if Laura rolls, I'm she next. takes over your I'm physical stats. So she rolls, but with your physical stats. Yeah, I roll with your stats. So you would just tell her like you're to hit. Yeah. Exactly. So she. Sure, she'd miss. Good to know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, then, here, do you want me to roll with your AC and see if I can make do you it. hit yourself? I, mean, I, mean, yourself, I will right? hit myself. It just won't hurt. But yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, we'll see. All right, what's your what's your attack modifier? Uh, I don't have the knuckle dusters on, so plus seven. All right, I rolled a fourteen. Seven plus seven. So, yeah. So I, I mean, oh. it won't so, hurt you, me, so you right? see the hand, but you also like duck out of the way of your own hand, and you're like instinctively, <laughs> your head just kind of yeah. Wait. So I'm thinking all of this, by the way. I'm not yeah, saying. Yeah, I, I can hear your thoughts. Wait, so are you just like in my head, or like can you feel like everything, or like is it just that you're in my head? I can see and hear what you see and hear, and so you, it doesn't do, mean thinking do, to you in your head. If I do that, you don't feel it. It just you just see and hear. Uh, I can feel it. But does it? It's it's weird. It's I can feel it, but I know it's not me. It's like an awareness of someone else. I also think. Right? Did I read the? Uh, you read it too, Laura. Does it mean that if you're in Brooks's body, I have Brooks it in front of me right now, and Brooks takes damage, you you know. Brooks you, takes damage. I do not. Yeah, you do not. So yeah, you can literally. It use says the possession you, so lasts you know. until the host drops to zero hit points. I am forced out by an effect yeah. like dispel evil and good or turn undead. No. Uh, or I no, can no. choose to end the possession. You suffer damage equal to half of any damage dealt to the host while oh, there possessed. You go. There you go. Oh, so you take you, you just have resistance. It. You take damage, but you just have resistance to less. Whatever, whatever yeah, it's like be. instead of barbarian rage, I have a meat shield of a person. Yeah. Dude, okay. You cool. can take all his resistances and resist like barely be taking anything. It should be taking a quarter damage if I was raging. To yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. So that means um, that basically Laura could just act as an additional attack for. Yeah. For whoever, whoever I'm possessed. Yeah, for whoever. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of spicy, or take, bro. Or sh if an enemy is hitting us pretty hard, can you use Like I said, this class, I stuff. haven't really looked at like the class properly because I figured there's not going to be anything combat-wise Yeah, we didn't want to get too far into it get if too we far didn't into know it. Plus, like, there wasn't, was th this wasn't like a guaranteed thing to happen, right? It was So I was yeah. like, okay, well, so this week me and Laura will... Uh, we'll tell you more about it on Dungeon Discourse. I'm yeah, sure. you want to be a Discourse this week, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, so... <laughs> And Brooks thinks this and does not say anything. Yeah. So you guys are just seeing a silent, like Brooks just ha like silently having a conversation, and you see the huh, like another. Brooks than that. is thinking really hard at the yeah. moment. <laughs> Brooks. Brooks. <laughs> I'm fine. We're fine. What? Just give me a minute. So, I mean, I have to ask: Is this your first time having a dick? <laughs> I, I just go, I mean, technically, by the nature of that sentence, yes, because like that means on my body. You did not say, yeah, no, yes, that I or inside you. So, therefore, I wasn't asking yes. that. No, I was asking. I know what you are asking. <laughs> I hate and the this. answer okay, is, wait, wouldn't you like to know? As a, as, a, as a stipulation based on what uh, Malkara was saying <laughs> in chat, I think if an attack is made, I think Brooks would roll. Uh, like I said, this Laura is something. Attacking. No, no, no. Figure it out. Yeah, no, it's, it's not to be Laura attacking. Mm -hmm. Laura makes Brooks attack. Right. Yeah. However, yeah. I feel however, like Laura. Let me finish. However, this is Laura how I avoid as... my curse. Guys, let's, Sorry. Let, let Luke finish, please. 
Laurel would add her aspect modifier to the damage, but Brooks would roll to hit with his stats. So Mad. that's yep. the uh, the rundown. Yeah. Well, well, like I said, me and Laura are going to have to it. This is how I avoid my cursed dice rolls. I just make other people roll for me. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're possessing me specifically, I still want you to roll the attacks because it's Oh, uh, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, you can roll the d20. So as, so as Brooks says, has that thought conversation, I'll come back out of <coughs> his body and end the possessions. You all see me reappear and I go, all right. So living and dead things. That was weird. Like, by the like, way, I'm gonna try my best not to do that because I'm I don't I know that's that's a very big invasion of you know boundaries and space, so I'm gonna put I mean, out here right now that was an experiment, but from now on, I'm not gonna do that unless it's in an emergency or you guys ask. Okay, I mean, I didn't hate it. Oh, that's oh, weird. Weird. He's gonna finish for it now. Oh, oh no, was it like to no, jerk off with someone else in me? Oh, wow. <laughs> Koiba. That's not even on a Lazarus. That's a Koiba. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Like, obviously, ask first, but I'm not opposed to it. Like, if you can't be fucked carting around in, you know. Can I ask what subclass? Uh, to no. be determined. Okay. But oh, like, I, I already looked. I'm leaning towards Poltergeist because that's dex-based and makes more sense character-wise. So, Poltergeist. Uh, well, dex-based, you have to reroll your stats entirely. So, like, you can... like the, you <laughs> Yeah. You lose all your stats. You have to reroll your stats. Oh, yeah. okay. So, yeah, fine. Well, then oh, we'll baby. find out. <laughs> so, that's oh, why, like, you can... Oh, it's all up to oh, my God. Guys, I'm going to finally become charismatic as you'll a ghost. Also be, gonna you'll be also be that's one level lower than the rest of the party. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be oh. level six. I I lose a level, and I yeah. so I'm level six, and you guys are level seven. Yeah, you'll be you're so, like yeah. level whatever minus level yeah, that you I was were you die minus level. one, and we'll say yeah. that basically, for the sake of this, you leveled up, and the rest also leveled up. I was you're, gonna say. I mean, basically, we're doing the di we're doing the Daigon one shot uh, to just to level up one. Daigon's on her own ghost adventure. No. <laughs> no. being a level beneath everyone right. oh, yeah. anyway um for you. i hate you so much right so with die ghost in that's tone, awful we need to workshop that i wonder i wonder how like you said food was bland i wonder if that's different when you're possessing someone we should test that oh my god you just want her inside you again I didn't say me, I just... I'm trying to find ways for Diagon to not feel excluded from things. Although I know, and I know this is pressing and surprising and strange, but we do need to figure out what we do next with this fucking tooth. Hey, I, I'll I never lose a drinking contest ever again. Sorry. This is I, a lot. Uh, I'm having these thoughts. I'm, with that, I'm going to go back into... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back into my body now. This this is this is a lot. I'll okay okay. And I go back into my body and I'm the and I, the body sits up. And I'm like, well. I don't know where we are relative to anything else in Sigalio or whatever. Well, so. conveniently for you, <laughs> there's a map of the entire continent on your wall in a frame. Oh. So also Sigalio. There we so. are. Beautiful. I'll, I'll put it in the Discord. I've got it to hand. Yeah, I have a map as well. Andy. I can, yeah, I can hit you with the, the map of oh, Sigalia and... specifically as well if you want. Already in Dutch. the Discord. There also, just, just for later, so you have, have it for reference. Mm -hmm. I'm sending you the because I bought the official lingering soul. Ooh, okay. I'll just send it to you Ooh, so you can have it for your records as well. Awesome. I <sighs> downloaded it illegally. <laughs> I paid for it. I mean, I, I'd assume I we'd go to Aramis and then go to Stonefall from there. So. We're so close to the Whispering Woods. Don't we need to go there? We do, but yeah. I'd rather not have the uh, items we have on our person. Yeah. Whilst we do that. Don't uh, it is more efficient to go through the Whispering Woods. However, knowing the bare, like, like the few horrible childhood stories I heard about that place, I do not want to take anything funky in with us. Because we will either get spat back out and turned around, or we will get fucked up. 
Oh, so we, we get want to go the all the way south and then come back all the way north and then go to the Whispering Woods. Yes. That's a lot of travel. Mm -hmm. lot of travel. It's like it's like three days at most each way, like from here to Darameth, and then same again. Right. Yeah, so but if we want to go to yes, Stonefall, that means we're wasting a whole. That's week. like six days. That's a week, and then we got to do another week to get back. I up. hate. And that's if we don't spend a day in Darameth researching things and. Going shopping. Dutch. Yo. In the sights. How much would Brooks know about the Whispering Woods? Just the bare minimum, like, it's a holy place you will get. Fucked up. Y you're not supposed to go in, sort of thing. Um. Because he lived here, but he's not a big. Make a history check. Person. Oh, fuck. Damn it, you asked me. Can Dagon possess me this. so I can use her stats? Why is my shit? Oh, hold on, my fucking OBS froze for a second. Are we good? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we're good. Hello, hello, yeah. hello. Yeah, no, we're good. History? Yes. 11. All you know is that the people that live within the woods keep to themselves. Uh, Not super keen on outsiders, but they're not hostile. Uh, It tends to be kind of viewed as a place that's like, that's invite only. Um, it's a sort of place definitely where... people throughout your childhood will have told you like horror stories about it but it's you know it's like oh the boogeyman uh, yeah you know what I mean it's just shrouded in uh, folklore uh, yeah exactly um, all you know would for know a fact is that the people that inhabit it uh, what sorry would I know anything about the people that inhabit it all you know and especially with the helmet being there and the helmet you know being dedicated to Aros, you reckon oh, there's going to be some Aros worshippers, which is a, a deity of good and knowledge, and, and, and like as, as lawful good as it gets, pretty much. Um, so that's kind of comforting to know that they're not worshipping some fucking evil god in there. Other than that, um, all you know is that the people that inhabit the woods aren't very keen on visitors unless in, unless they're invited, which happens very rarely. And going into the woods, <clears throat> will you will find some, like, trials to kind of overcome to get to where you need to be, because they definitely hid their location well. I think... So I'll relay that to the group. I think realistically we're already pushing our luck by turning up uninvited i am not the religious authority but in my opinion if we take that thing with us they're more likely to either send us away or potentially worse if it's in the bag of holding though like how would they even know i don't know we've had this conversation Give, oh, yeah. Let's give, me a, give me a second. Give Look, me a second. I've no objection to traveling for two fucking weeks. I just don't really know how much time we have. I mean, it, I mean, it wouldn't be a week. It, it, it wouldn't much... be two weeks. It would be a week, but. Uh, Someone said three days to Darren. Well, no, days, it, it, it's a week to Stonefall, a week back. And a week back, yeah. Unless we use your little fancy shortcut thing. Uh, that's if right. we can find one. If we, we can, can find a shortcut there, on there's, the there's carts as well <coughs> that are quicker. Right, DM? Huh? There's transport, <laughs> like there's horse and carts that run a lot. We've been over this. Horse, horse and cart, cart don't mean no quicker, cart. they just mean more comfortable. More comfortable. Easier. Yeah. Um, while they're bickering about this, I'd like to cast sending. Go on. Uh, to the fucking, like, why well, I can't remember his fucking nickname, but the guy we had the meeting with from the Lotus Gang. His Excellence. His Excellence. Mm -hmm. I'd like to send a message to him. Okay. Let's go. We've retrieved the tooth, got sent to the hells, we're in Cleric's Refuge. Send someone, please. We're tired, and we got shit to do. <coughs> A persuasion check. No, go fuck yourself. This wasn't part of the deal. Uh, 19. Okay. <clears throat> Takes a few minutes. But 
eventually you'll hear in your head knock knock and as as you hear that in the back of your head someone knocks on your door <laughs> oh that's problem has fun. been solved ladies and gentlemen and I'll open the door. And before you stands, nothing. But yes. you feel Beautiful. something push by you quite brutishly, but very quietly. The only reason you notice that someone's there is because they like bump into you, kind of like shoulder bump you out of the way. Yeah. And oh, is it our boy? <clears throat> he just kind of he closes the door behind him and takes this ro- takes like this this almost like this shroud off of him, and you can see this towering loxodon with the two daggers. Hey. It's Tusk. Mother. It's our boy. You rang. It's the Tusk. Good to see you again. Not according to deal, but your friend I'm seemed sorry. stressed. Yeah, yeah, we sort of had a... We went to the ninth. Does he, does he come in and see... Wait, did I go back into her body? I'm in, back I'm in my body. body right now. Okay. I'm in my body like, right now. Dinah's corpse inside and there's just a ghost. It's like, <laughs> don't worry about it, boy. <laughs> it's fine. This is the lock song. We want him in our party. <gasps> yeah, goddamn. Right. You so, have uh, an artifact. Yeah, yeah it, it, it okay. like, literally sent us to, to the hells. He kind of like... takes a cloth out of his pocket and kind of like extends his hand. Drop it. Uh, I'll just hand him the thing in the cloth already. Okay. And he wraps his own cloth around it and puts it in in one of his pockets. Didn't bring payment. Come fetch in Aldilon. That's fine. It better be more than we agreed on because we did not expect to be going to hell. I don't make the rules. I'm just saying. We can have that conversation when we get here. It, before he leaves, I am going to leave the body and come out in my ghost form and say in Loxodon, we paid a heavy price for this. Let him know, please, because I think a raise is in order, respectfully. <laughs> he looks He looks at you, and he mm. is not phased in Breathe. the slightest. I know he's not. He looks, he looks at you, looks at your body, looks at the rest of you. Bye. I love this man. I love him so much. And he yeah. goes invisible again. Door opens, door closes, and he's gone. If after you can ever leaves, possess someone permanently, you have to possess him. As, as he leaves, and when I'm sure he's gone, wait seconds, I go, and still he goes, what a fucking dick. And then I go back into my body. I like this. I like Daiko when she can talk. <laughs> You've been saying this whole, saying this whole time? Because yeah. so, yeah. that's a, that's a, When you tell us Daiko was funny. <laughs> I thought it was kind of obvious. No, you did some bullshit. <laughs> no! Oh, we should have uh, known imagine, the kiss was that funny. Send a message or whatever. I don't suppose you can get in touch with uh, Celeste, could you? I mean, I suppose it depends how likely do you think one of us is going to die today. No. I just look at him and, and like, raise an eyebrow. At least Barely. one of us can't, so. We're just going to be well, walking through fucking... <laughs> Whatever. I and Actually, I suppose with the tooth out of our hands, do are we just going straight to the woods? Just go straight to the woods now. Unless Christian was going to see your parents in Stonefall, but we could do that. We can do that. Oh, after. We can do that after. Whatever. I. I'll <laughs> find someone else to fucking cast it then. What's and then I will cast sending. <laughs> sending. 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 All right. Uh, All right. But I start casting it before before he tells me the message. I start casting it, so I already waste like five words being like, "Hey, Celeste, Daphne want me to message you." What was the message? Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, hey, um, Celeste, Daphne. That's some jester shit, shit right there. To message you. That's eight we words went... already. Okay. We have sixteen. No, seventeen left. We went to hell. We went to hell. <laughs> Came back fine. Came back fine. Thinking of you. Thinking of you. Onu says hi. <laughs> Forward <laughs> left. left. <laughs> you are really hot. 
hugs and kisses down here. <laughs> Wait, she's gonna think that only said that, but I suppose it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, you said that, and then I said, Oni says hi, hugs and kisses Davian. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really you, know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Yeah. So, because I'm DM quite with the message yes. uh, a little bit ago, but I had already amended, I did put hugs and kisses at one point, but they didn't have enough words. So, fuck it. There you go. Uh, a few minutes go by, but eventually you just hear in the back of your head, uh, Lazarin. Oh, that's good. Glad you're safe. Speak soon? Question mark? <laughs> Question mark. I mean, Question we can't mark. go back and forth without using more spell slots, right? So. Mm -hmm. Also, she, she has 25 words to use. And she's 10. 10. Bitch, yeah. She's blown him off. He um, underperformed. Dude, she's leaving you on red, basically. I saw <laughs> I saw wait and I saw Y'all are reading into this way too much. Said, I suddenly like, surprised up and just go, hmm. Interesting. He really. <laughs> he texted her. You on red. He texted her the morning after, and she just went back with, "Thanks." See you later. Thanks to talk later. Well, she says, "Speak soon, in person." Question. Uh, I mean, that was all. <laughs> I mean, oh, you said it's I nice mean, maybe she doesn't know how sending works. I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm sure we'll yeah. see when we get back. I mean, Joey, I could send her another message if really want, but no, that, don't waste no one can die. On that. I, just <laughs> to, I just, honestly, I just, I, she got my <laughs> mind and I was like, oh, I could have died. What would happen if I did? I just figured I'd let her know I'm not dead, you know? So. Sweet. Mm. That's lovely. I you know who is really... dead? <laughs> <laughs> Probably should let her know that as well, but it didn't have enough words. <laughs> I'm beginning to think. <laughs> We had After enough hearing that. says hi. <laughs> died and died <laughs> Lamar. Or, unless... <laughs> I... Dutch, tell me if you think this is valid. Uh, can... Do you think... Maybe not yet, because I'm still new at this. But can I just, like, poke... If I wanted to speak and be real lazy, just poke my ghost head out of the body and rather than fully leaving the body. So, like, the head goes limp? Okay. Yeah, and it's just... <laughs> Yeah, That's sure, man. Really Fuck it. I like the idea of that. Talk. Fuck it. I, I, allow it. I think so you, you can just mostly like... talk outside of the physical restraints of the body, right? Or maybe, like, yeah, I'll just use yeah. my ghost. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 Dragon yeah. quite literally tips her head back like a I head think, dispenser. I think it sort yeah. of like, just doesn't match the mouth movements. It's like a really or, bad yeah. dub. It's a really badly dubbed really bad film. Dumb. It's the... Yeah. Okay, well, then in that way, you just see... Um... Now, now because I asked that, I forgot what I wanted to say though with that ability. So that <laughs> and the buildup was there yeah. and everything. I know. Uh, and it's, it's like oh, I remember now. I remember now. Okay. okay. Um. So yeah, in that weird, doesn't quite match way, uh, I say maybe. Now that I thought about it, I realize I told the tusk maybe we should keep this to ourselves because I don't know how vulnerable my physical body is now. I think that is your decision to make, and that and a wise one should be respectful of it. Well, the main thing is we're keeping your body. Gotta track how many days it's been. We could start like Still, since you cast the spell, could... one full day has uh, has uh, well, gone. So I mean, we could just do it once a week, you know? Yeah, so we waste a couple of days, sure, whatever. But you know, I can. Just make it a morning ritual of ours. We can just do it. Because I've just realized that Gentle Plus is a ritual cast spell, and I don't waste a spell for doing it. So it's fine. Uh, it's too, just, yeah. It just will cost two copper every time I do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's going it's to ruin his pockets. Well, no, as he says that, I won't, like, verbally answer, but he doesn't know sign language. I'll just reach into my coin purse and hold out money, implying I can fund my own preservation. It's like <laughs> money. <laughs> Like, does this mean you're going to last me forever? Sign you, you can't hold you can't hold objects. So. I, well, when, oh, when, I can't when, hold up. No, when I'm a ghost, no, I can't hold objects. When, when I'm in a body, she's in a body. She can. Oh, right, yeah, right, she's yeah, in the right, body okay. now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I know you're not. I know you have full control of the bodies, but I just imagine it's weekend at Bernie's. All right. So with that, you've handed off the tooth, and you are like. 
very close to the Whispering Woods, uh, about a day to, for you to of travel to, to get to the edge of the forest. Um, like, what do you guys want to do? When do you decide to leave? Well, let's get ourselves a hearty breakfast and I suppose be on our way. As you yeah. said, hearty breakfast, I just look a little sad. No. Why don't you? Well, ask possess me, so you can yeah. take it. Okay. I'll sign. Yeah. I'll sign to Kess if it's if we're ever eating something really special, maybe. But like, I guess for just pub food, that seems a bit much. It's not pub food. It's cleric refuge food. It's <laughs> hostel food, straight up. Like, now nah, they got the they, they got the hero's food. feast out, bro. They, they just... yeah. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah? No, they do not. They got bowl. Uh, they got they bowl. have bowls. <laughs> bowls are plenty in this place. They but they cows? are not jeweled bowls. <laughs> yeah, they're cows. <laughs> They have cows. They don't have druids. They have clerics. So you know, no, <laughs> no trim cows here. Clerics can learn polymorph. I know polymorph. <laughs> Turn into a cow. <laughs> Why? I don't Why like you? the imagery in my head right now. It's, I hate this. I hate this a lot. Get your head out of the gutter, Mister DM. Fucking DM. cursed. No. <laughs> a dragon can sit in, so you can both experience it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> This is what's like the fuck a Horus Brooks. Right, okay. Uh, so you fucking Jesus. No. <laughs> you know. I hate this. There's there's a lot wrong with that. We're not gonna no. You um I'll just like kill Brooks and get back in Brooks' body. Guys, can we stop? <laughs> That'd be great. I'm trying to not divulge <laughs> further into this subject matter. I'm trying to move on. Oh, <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be great. Um we get a shitty food. breakfast. You get food. Oh. It's not much, but you know it'll it'll get you going. It's better than rations, that's for sure. Is it like porridge with water? Pretty much. Yeah. No, they got milk. Porridge it's not milk. water. It's milk. You know. Yeah, grits. It's porridge with they milk. They got grits. It's, it's <laughs> right next to the collard greens. They got my fried okra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love me some grits. Uh, hey. Yeah, you have your food and. Uh, I mean, you don't have to go right away, but, uh, you know, the day, the day is yours. Let's get this fucking over with. Come on. Yeah. Marcus will kind of approach you and say, uh, oh, sure. thank you very much for uh, sending me to hell and then getting me out. Thank you for saving our lives. <laughs> thank you for coming to help. And, and thanks for uh, with us. saving mine at the end there, Anazrin. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a pleasure. You you don't think I'll ever forget you or the things we did. Um, probably stay here for a few more days and then make my way back to to Daramuth and check in with my people. But uh, you know, if you're ever in the vicinity of Daramuth in the future, don't be a stranger. I suppose what's next for me is going to be trying to rebuild Natil, if that's even in the books. If not, who knows? Maybe I'll. Get a transfer and see when Aldi or something. I have no idea. My home just kind of got destroyed, so I have options. I crushed out, some would say. <laughs> you see, you always need the clerics on the new continent if you want to go somewhere fun. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If you ever need I need good taverns. You always ask us. We'll do. I'm not really a hugger, so I'm just gonna. You know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want a pat on the back or a smooch? I uh, just... just <laughs> you know. Handshake? No we'll do a handshake. I will do give the, uh, him a firm and affectionate handshake. Do the secret cleric handshake that all clerics obviously know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do the secret nightweb nightweb handshake with night him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nightweb. <laughs> like, I oh, love the nightweebs. The night we... Um, and he oh, kind of so he, he kind of moves on and uh, you know chills chills around in Clerics Refuge and and who knows what's in store for him. Um, I slipped five gold in his pocket when I handshake him. Next slide handshake. I fucking win these. It, unless I throw my dice off the table. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> Gonna step on uh, twenty six. Yeah, he'll have no idea until, like, the next time he <laughs> goes into his pockets. He's like, oh, wait a minute. But for now, he has no idea. <laughs> cool. I didn't want him to know it was for me. I just... 
Um, but yeah, the Whispering Woods, like the the east border of the woods, is about a day's ride away, or a day's walk, a day's march, a day's crawl for all I care. Yeah, take you a day to get there. So as you decide to head on out, everybody, Father, Father Alt included, kind of bids you adieu. And you make your way towards the Whispering Woods. And I think we'll leave it there for today. And we'll pick this up next week. Hell yeah. I don't... I, I oh, quit. Uh, before we leave... Do you? I want to uh, change up some of my infusions. Just to let you know. Yes. So, uh, Koiba, you no longer have fire resistant armor. Oh, you bastard. I can Molotov him again? Pog. Yes. Bastard. You bastard. You could always could Molotov me. It just wouldn't be as effective um, as now it would be. But yeah, um, we'll pick this up next week. This was an interesting session. Uh, well, I will go into the nitty gritty about like the rolling and all, and the, re the resurrection in uh, on Dungeon Discourse this week because like Laura had as big of a hand in like the odds of this happening as I did. So, do we yeah. have to expose the rolls and who rolled? Yeah, them? like we don't have to just, do just who as a who taster. Well, all you need to all you need to know we'll now is that the, the only way the I only way the lingering soul thing would have happened is if the resurrection ritual succeeded. So the ritual had to succeed first, and the ritual succeeded. So, gotcha. that's all have to know. So the ritual yeah. succeeded. What was affected so was... So my shitty the, roll did what not What type of success? It. The way it works, Soko, uh -huh. is well, that... No, just wait. Come to Discourse. Come to Discourse. Come to discourse. True. Come uh, to Discourse. No. We'll go into... If you, you want to be the other person on Discourse, no. Soko? If you are around. Um, I can if we do it either on Wednesday or oh, okay. late on Thursday. Mm. I believe mm. I work till three my time. That's yeah, I, mm, I mean, that's... Let me pick someone. We'll figure it out. It yeah. would be 9 p.m. for you, I think, Dutch. Yeah, but that's like he works till three, so he still has to get home and shit, right? So, yeah, yeah, so I can start like... I'd say probably like 10 o'clock your time. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's too late for me. I need to. Well, never mind. I have, I have, you can catch I, 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 the mod and find out. Friday is like the one morning that. a week where I have to get up at like six in the morning, so I'd rather not. Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. Like, definitely want Laura on Discord. Whoever the the second person is, we'll we'll I'll, I'll, we'll discuss uh, off stream and, and figure it out. Um, but thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll be here Thursday for Dungeon Discord where we talk about the show. If you're new around here, hit the follow button. Great, appreciate it. Uh, Second campaign we do. The first one lasted two uh, two and a bit years. Longer? I don't even know. We've been doing this for almost uh, five. This is our fifth year in the running of doing D&D on stream. Oh, um, that seems fake. Nope, it's not. Uh, I know it's not, but it's we, we did like the it. math the other day. Like We did, yeah. Uh, Pixie, thanks for all those subs and stuff and the bits and, yeah. and everyone else that subbed. You guys are awesome. Love you, really do. Dutch has given me forever trauma. And I'm now going to spend the next three hours crying into my pillow. I mean, listening, th this lingering soul thing wasn't really a thing that came up in my head until. No, you know who actually is responsible for Duke it? Is brought Duke brought it up. Duke 33. Duke brought it up during Discord. And I was like, I was like, I forgot yeah. this was an option. And then me and Laura talked about it. And me and Laura <laughs> both kind of like, I mean, I told Laura, if this is something that you wouldn't mind having as an option. I'll put it on the table. Like I'll, you know, it's 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 possible. Further like, info on Dungeon Discourse. Yeah. So, but like Duke was the one that spawned this idea. Technically, I guess. Yeah. By the end of the campaign, <laughs> will it be oops all, uh, fucking ghosts or, uh, <clears throat> so what's the ghost campaign? What what's the uh, poltergeist? Oops, all poltergeist. I don't get the joke. I'm sorry. Um, I, don't know. I don't know either. But thanks for watching, everybody. Love you, leave <laughs> you, and uh, take care, brush your hair, and all that stuff. Huh? Take care. Uh, Gabagool. Eh? <laughs> Have a good night, Gabagool. everybody. Take care. Bye. Okay. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And it's now slowly, like, fade out. It's just like. Bum, bum.